Okay, I'm totally not super shy, you guys. I, I can totally do this. I, I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Because it's draft day. And that means that I, out of storage, I went ahead and I got it, guys. I got, I got the onesie. Hi. <laughs> oh, Lori, hey! <laughs> oh, Lori, I can't believe it's already been 10 months. What the heck? Oh my gosh, I need to get you like a strange chicken. I have Planet Zoo pulled up, so I'm gonna get you a strange chicken put down before I forget. Uh, and this strange chicken is gonna hang out over here in the giraffe zone, which you guys will see in just a second. My dear, my dear Alari. All right, Alari the strange chicken. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, and before we even get going, what the heck? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Well, thank you, you guys. Oh my gosh. Welcome, Gaelic Rose. Welcome to the nest. Oh my gosh. I will show you guys your eggs in just a second. <gasps> and teats! Teats screaming! Welcome! Welcome to the nest! Oh, oh, hang on. I've got to fix Alari's. Alari. Alari's strange chicken. There we go. And then let me pull up the egg. I will show you guys what I'm doing in Planet Zoo in just a second, but I think you may notice there's something different about me tonight. I did something with my hair. Do you guys like it? <laughs> All right, and Gaelic and tea, I will show you guys your brand new <laughs> eggs in just a second. Uh, but I, <laughs> Chips was right about the ossicones. I think they pull the outfit together, right? <laughs> So hi guys and happy International Draft Day by the way. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that it is already like time to celebrate all things Asakoni for the tallest land mammal on earth. Also my favorite animal ever. As you guys can see, I have an entire shelf full of amazing drafts over here. In fact, I need to go ahead and before we get started, I need to wiggle back here and grab my giraffe earrings that I got from the San Diego Zoo, and we're gonna have giraffes on giraffes on giraffes hanging out here. So let me catch up. <laughs> Band room that thank you. You look gorgeous, eh? <laughs> but happy International Giraffe Day, guys. And today, as you can tell, we're gonna be celebrating about giraffes, and we're also going to be trying out our very first ever. Oh, oh my gosh, Matt! <laughs> Matt, thank you so much. What the heck? <laughs> Matt, thank you so much for the video. The happy draft day. Let me get your donation added in so it'll show up properly. Oh my gosh. You guys! Heckin', I haven't even had time to tell you about like the really cool perks and everything that we've got. So do use the commands. Uh, exclamation point charity to see the charity that we're actually donating to. The only worldwide charity. And we're gonna get Mataruski right in here. Hang on, Matt. When it's biddies, all of the biddy points tonight will be going towards our giraffe charity, Heckin. And then let's come on down. And I need to add that in. Boom, boom. <laughs> there, I just have to add, manually add in the biddies, but there you go, Matt. <laughs> thank you so much, thank you, thank you. And I haven't even pulled up like the perks thing to show you guys what we're doing to celebrate giraffes today, heckin'. <laughs> Hopefully it's going to be a really fun time. Uh, I I love it. I love it. Look at the little, oh my gosh, Matt, you've already got us like a fifth of the way there. And Tom, oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you so much. You got me the pride crown emote while we're at it. 
Oh my gosh, and Matt, please do check out, if you would like, the perks that we actually have for Giraffe Donation Perks. And Hippocrocka Donkey Pig, thank you! <laughs> Our little giraffe is going to be so happy. Give me just a second and I will add those in too. Oh my gosh. So what do you guys know about giraffes? While well, I go ahead and get this all lined up. Oh my word. Boom. There we go. Hippocrocka donkey pig. So good to see you tonight. Let's see. Crocka donkey pig. Oh my goodness. Oh, an awkward. Thank you so much. Oh heck, I cannot even keep up with you guys. <laughs> Oh, you guys, you know what? This is so special to me because giraffes are they're I mean, they're clearly facing a bunch of struggles, as we know. Uh, and oh, awkward. Thank you so much. Let me add that into awkwarding turtle. Oh, oh, you're going to make me already tear up. And I haven't even gotten my ossicones properly explained yet. There we go. Boom. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so let me catch up for a second. Toby, your zoo is reopening soon and you're finally able to go enjoy your drafts with your drawing tablet. Uh, what do you usually bring to the zoo, Siri? I usually bring my wildlife camera, chips, usually some snacks. <laughs> oh, Lori! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> You know what? I was so nervous before this stream. I, w I ran up to Chips and I told him like, okay, it's going to be okay. We're going to have a good time. Even if we don't manage to, <laughs> to do anything tonight for giraffes, I'll let people know how much I love giraffes. Heckin' what the heck? <laughs> Thank you so much. All of this is going to go to the giraffes, by the way. Oh, my word. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> okay. I need a moment just to pivot. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys already blasted the bronze gold to pieces and I haven't even... I haven't even spoken. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Heckin' wow. And Hippocrocka Donkey Pig. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me catch up. Let me take some deep breaths. Oh my word. I'm going to need to catch up for quite a bit. Okay, okay. I've definitely gotten myself, uh, okay. All right, I need, I need to, I need to message Chips. I know, I know, Bowling for Otters. Help, darling, we already hit, already hit the bronze goal. What do I do? Do I eat leaves? I brought leaves. So like one of the perks that you guys could do for raising the money for <laughs> Awkward. I underestimate you guys. Oh my gosh. You know what? Thank you. Thank you so freaking much. Just, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> and exactly, Peline. Even if you guys can't donate, there are so many ways to help drafts. I was going to talk your ears off about all of that to build up to everything tonight. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. So other ways you can help out, Peline, is honestly just like doing anything you can, mostly to help with climate change and also wildlife poaching, which are the two biggest things that giraffes face as challenges right now. Populations of giraffe have plummeted by almost 70 to 90 percent in different areas in the last like few years. <laughs> Oh my word. And Jeremac, thank you so much. I am indeed enjoying the ossicones. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Camel K, you're amazing. Holy heck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I hope you guys will be patient with me. There's some perks involved for cheering and for donating. And I'm gonna need to catch up to all of you in a minute because you're amazing people and I love all of you. Um... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. And Mataruski, thank you so much. Oh my word. Okay. Okay. 
they're coming on in. I just have to manually add in the cheers, but they're coming on in. Metaruski, thank you. Holy heck. There's going to be some very happy giraffes that we are going to be adopting pretty soon here. Let me make sure I didn't miss anybody. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Now we've almost hit the silver goal. What am I... Bad mom! <laughs> Thank you so much! Alari, <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Bad mom, thank you. And Cookie, like, Alari, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna need a moment to catch up. <laughs> now I need... <laughs> they are my favorite animal. They are the creature that I will change, like, everything about life for. Oh my gosh. Librarian, thank you. Thank you. Like, thank you. Oh my word. Do you know how amazing this is? To just feel how fantastic, like, look at our community. <laughs> look at all of you. One of the things that made me fall the most in love with giraffes and realize that I wanted to teach you guys about how amazing they were and realize that I absolutely wanted to do our best to try to learn more about them is that they actually don't make a sound we can hear. Can you imagine being the tallest land mammal in the world? The tallest land mammal that seems to have ever existed. And it, like, uh, librarian, oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> and it, you don't even, you can't even make a sound for yourself. Like that just always has blown my mind. And so when I learned that, when I was staring up at these beautiful giraffes, oh my gosh, Mataruski, thank you. <laughs> When I when I was looking at these beautiful giraffes at the St. Louis Zoo and I realized that they couldn't speak for themselves, uh, that was just the moment when I sincerely, deeply felt like we had to speak for them. And that was a huge moment in my personal development as a, a wildlife advocate and as somebody who cherishes and loves this world we all, all share. And Paint Seagull, thank you so much. Oh, my word. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you guys. We've almost gotten to the silver goal and I haven't even started playing Planet Zoo yet. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Cyber Red Panda, thank you so much. Oh my word. And I mean, do you guys have an animal like that? Because I, I do want to talk all giraffes, but look, the bottom line is if you can find something to love in in the world, I really feel like we're all better off for it. I really wish that everybody had like some sort of super special animal that they just super bonded to and that made them feel like this is it. This is this is the reason that I'm going to do my best to recycle, to reduce like my impact on the world, to tell people to like try to drive less or get to campaign and lobby so that like we can change the way that cars are built and emissions and all that nonsense, uh, which is very important and it adds up. And so I, I kind of feel like giraffes are not only my favorite animal, but they're like my champion animal. They're the animal that I'm going to go up to bat for. You know what I mean? They're the one that I'm going to stand on the soapbox and I'm going to be like, I'm not as tall as them, but at least I can talk and I'm going to tell you guys how amazing they are. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> I hope silver. Oh, Lori, what? <laughs> oh my word. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm I'm currently Okay. Is it is it silly if I'm already planning? Oh my gosh, we're already at the silver goal. Is it silly if I want to cry? <laughs> Thank you guys so much. What the heck? Cyber, oh, you love all animals, but giraffe, uh, you being in love, pandas, red pandas are your love, and wolves being close second. And panda plays, yes, giraffes do make a noise. It is at such a low frequency that we actually can't hear them, which is why I'm going to yell for them and tell them how amazing they are and tell people how fantastic they are. I mean, have you ever seen a giraffe in person? Just the sheer ridiculousness of them. That's one of the reasons I think it's so good that a lot of AZA and highly accredited zoos are able to keep giraffes because they're actually really adaptable. Like, do you guys know giraffes can live in a desert? 
That when I learned that through the Giraffe Conservation Foundation, they do a lot of important tracking research with giraffes. I was blown away, but there are indeed giraffes that roam through the desert and have done so for generations. In the Namib Desert is the oldest desert in the entire world, and there is evidence of giraffe, uh, like ancient cave paintings that are thousands of years old for those giraffes living in that desert area. And that desert is about like something like 8 million years old. So it was still a desert when people were drawing cave paintings of giraffe. And that just blows my mind. Oh, Cammie, you fed giraffes for, before too? And hi, pudding! Oh my word! <laughs> And T Chef, the donations are either through biddies. I'm putting all of the biddy funds that we raised tonight towards the Draft Conservation Foundation. And you can also do the uh, exclamation point donate <laughs> to be able to see the giraffes. Oh, and Kay, you got to see April the giraffe and her son Tarji. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, I remember when April, I remember when April had her baby. That was so exciting. I don't know why. April was just the one that went viral, but having a draft go viral was fan freaking tastic. I loved it. Oh, animal saver. You're, oh, you, yes, yes. Oh, you're going to get a giraffe in your Planet Zoo franchise and name it Siri. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, Annie. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful dinner. Okay, let me catch up with some of you guys. And then Rin. So in terms of conservation, I really feel that rhinos, with so many types that are already extinct now and literally big walking tanks of the animal kingdom, and they need more love. I completely agree with you, Rin. Once we settle in tonight, please remind me to tell you my rhino baby puppy story. I have a story to tell all of you about when I got to see a baby rhino who was conceived using in vitro fertilization from the sperm of a, a deceased extinct species of rhino and a elderly mother put into a young mother and then i got to watch that baby roll around and play in the mud <laughs> also thank you so much t oh my gosh okay let me go ahead and add you in again so we get that that number properly move in on the little donation counter i am can i cry like we literally just got started <laughs> oh Oh, Mr. M McNuggets plays. Your aunt's favorite animal is a giraffe. Do you know why she like that's your favorite animal? Oh, Ren, I can't tell. I cannot wait to tell you about the rhino baby puppy that I saw. Did you guys know that when you call rhinos, you can kind of call them in like puppies? Oh my gosh, Tisha! What? <laughs> Tisha, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 i need to show you guys a picture of dixie hey crabby ocean shark oh my gosh <laughs> thank you everyone so much for donating and thank you for for saying thank you paint seagull I'm, yes, and uh, Alari, I will tell you guys about the donation perks in just a moment, you amazing people, you. Let me find a picture of baby Dixie. Oh, Tisha, thank you. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cannolis. Oh, my word. Okay, hang on. I need to find, where's baby Dixie? Here, I want I want to share a picture, My one of my favorite ever pictures. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> what? The word of ever loving what <laughs> fluffy ossicones <laughs> they were a dragon <laughs> do you guys realize we just broke my gold level goal my my dream goal for for being able to help giraffes do you guys realize we just smushed it <laughs> Thank you. Priv, welcome. Welcome to the stream. We're now 20 minutes in. That was the fastest 20 minutes of my entire life. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you guys a huge secret about 
having been part of, I, I was majorly into activism circles all through my 20s. And I was majorly into, I, like, I was a biology educator for a long time. And one of the hardest things about trying to, to change the world on those levels is that you feel so freaking alone sometimes. You feel like you're swimming against the stream and there's nobody really there to help you. And now we freaking have proved that that's not true. And our community is here to do amazing things. Catalina, thank you. Oh my word. I don't even know. I don't even know. You guys, thank you. I need to, I need to, I need to message Chips. I need to message Chips and, and like, darling help. <laughs> Tisha. <laughs> you, okay. All right, I, I'm supposed to. <laughs> Catalina, <laughs> you're my word. Okay, that's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Okay, I can now say thank you because we're not alone and we can do great things together, guys. And believe it or not, I know it may not, it, it's a ton that we are now going to be able to give to the Giraffe Conservation Foundation. And this is really humbling to me, so humbling because I know that directly at this point, there's probably at least three giraffes that they're going to be able to put GPS trackers on because of this. And they're gonna be able to monitor and protect and watch over for their lives and gather data that is going to help save multiple species and isolated populations. <laughs> Basically, I know, right? <laughs> I, I just thank you. Thank you so freaking much. I I truly believe that we can do fantastic, wonderful things together in this world, that we can inspire each other, that it's not just about money either, as we were talking P-Line earlier, it's, it's about doing a ton of different things. Just raising awareness is a lot bigger than you think, and it, raising awareness always sounds like a big deal. Or like always sounds kind of like an empty statement, actually. You know, when people say raising awareness, it's like, what does that mean? And I think when you say raising awareness to someone about something that's important to you or something that really matters to you, what we're trying to say is helping someone fall in love with this idea, which is a lot longer of a statement than raising awareness. <laughs> so to raise awareness for anything that you're really passionate about or you care about, I think the, the great way to think about it is to to try to figure out ways that you could help someone fall just as much in love with the curiosity and the wonder that you have towards something. And for me, again, that's, that's giraffes. That's these gigantic herbivores. They're the tallest land mammal in the world. Why don't they have chompy bits? They don't. They eat leaves. Oh dear, how aggressive. <laughs> Hi Tish, welcome to the adventures. <laughs> and, they are also kind of in a lot of ways helpless because like i said they they are are skittish they don't make any noise they can't call out and meow at us like a cat for help <laughs> hey t thank you so much and i just love them and i i hope people can love them too and also think about that think about how amazing that is that they exist at all and I also think that it's super humbling that we are the, the slice of time that probably will help determine if they continue to exist at all because their numbers are so low. And so truly, the, the amount of money that we have raised is actually super important for the Giraffe Conservation Foundation because what they will do is they will use that to put GPS trackers on the ossicones of the giraffes and you know what happens when a poacher comes around and sees a GPS tracker? It's not very appealing. That means that this group is being watched. That means that that's more trouble than it's worth. And that alone helps to protect them. But then the data that it collects is invaluable on a science level because you can figure out where's this giraffe going? What's it drinking? What's it eating? And you can start protecting those areas too. And honestly, when you start with a really big 
herbivore like that and you try to protect the areas that they belong to, you're creating a cascade effect. So it's not just the giraffes, it's their ecosystem, it's their environment, it's the animals on all levels around them who will also end up being protected and saved. And, and thank you guys, thank you so much because just, like I said, just getting excited, just being curious, just having a good time together and, and being able to make your own small choices in life. Anything you can do to combat climate change, which that's an infinite amount of choices that we all have that we could pick from, is also going to contribute to this too. Okay. <laughs> And Cyber, yes, I remember the night that we broke Luina. And then Peline, yes, yes. And a hundred percent, we're not alone. We're all in this together, Peline. And that's why I really love this community so much. And you guys really helped me feel like we can change the world. And the way to do that is through positivity. Abundantly, what do we call it? Abundantly chaotic. There we go. I wanted to get it right. Abundantly chaotic positivity. And okay, Annie, Annie, I, I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to be streaming for a few hours tonight. I'm thinking at least two or three. <laughs> I am blown away. British Sleamer, I'm so glad you enjoy the onesie. This is actually a gift. It is the same onesie that Luina wears, which is how I knew Luina and I were twins. And this was a gift almost two years ago from the Patreons, the patrons for I think my birthday or Christmas. I can't remember. Or it was just a gift out of the blue. And everybody was like, open your mail, Siri. And there was a giraffe inside. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, uh, Mr. Nuggets Plays. The endangered species that we bump into, like not just the endangered species, but everything. I really think one of our biggest struggles with figuring out how to help out the world and how to fall in love in the world with the animals and the wildlife outside are this idea that we're so divided and separated from it. But I feel very intimately tied to the birds and the squirrels outside and they make up part of my world. And so taking care of the world we're in, to me is one of the biggest acts of self-love that you could do. And I mean, I won't, I won't stand on this giraffe colored so like soapbox too much longer friends, but I will say that I, I lucked out so much at falling in love with Chips because he told me one day that the way that he thinks one should live, the purpose of life is to leave this world better than we found it. And you guys have helped me so much tonight to remember that, yeah, we can do that. <laughs> we, can, we can create something good and better and leave the world behind us better than what we found. And we can do it together. So I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> and Backlog, the Giraffe Conservation Foundation raises money for pretty much all giraffes. They're the only organization in the world, the only nonprofit organization, NPO, that raise money to study and protect as many giraffe species as they do. Uh, we're actually going to watch a documentary for our very first documentary night on the Discord about them uh, coming up sometime this week. I'm thinking Tuesday night, and I'll, I'll play it on my computer and do a screen share so you guys can see it. Um, and you'll learn a lot about giraffes. You will learn how to put a giraffe on a boat. <laughs> You will see how how dangerous the Giraffe Conservation Foundation is founded by a man who is just utterly in love with giraffes and his wife and two kids. And he started just with that little pod, his family, that he shared that passion with. And they've grown into a huge, well, huge being like 12 people, a uh, group, a nonprofit group now, who have traveled to places that are currently torn apart by a war to try to help remove populations of giraffe that exist nowhere else in the world from those human conflicts and put them in safe zones. And it was one of the most humbling things I've ever seen to see this founder, this man who runs the Giraffe Conservation Foundation, 
is just a really laid back Australian scientist who loves being a dad to his family and he loves giraffes. And he has literally gone out into war torn zones in Africa where bullets were shot at his helicopter to try to save them. So I'm really proud to be able to support him in his work. Also, Mudkip, thank you so much. Oh, holy heck. Oh, hey, Leah. So we're going to vote. Um, maybe, maybe later tonight, we'll have to see. They do have giraffes for adoption and our goal was to adopt a giraffe and now we can actually adopt a giraffe. Uh, so we will be adopting a giraffe. Oh, I'm British Lemur, thank you so much. <laughs> You guys, this is going to be so fun. And we're going to adopt our very first draft together from this amazing night. Heckin, I am so excited. Let me tell Chips what happened. Oh my word. I didn't even get to tell you guys, like, what the goals are. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, but let's shift gears from the, the Siri talk. And <laughs> British Lemur, <laughs> was that converting from pounds? We, we will be adopting a giraffe. Uh, I want to make sure that I get all of the, the bits and bobs set. So probably this Saturday, we'll set a time and I will look up all the information and correspond with the Giraffe Conservation Foundation. Um, and we will see. So either this Saturday or at the end of the month, probably, uh, we'll probably do it this Saturday. That's a good time. And we'll adopt a giraffe together, my friends, and have our very first animal that we have sponsored and adopted hanging out in the pixel biology community. And we'll start a special new little panel on our Twitch page for, uh, for that amazingness. <laughs> I know, and we're going to miss out, Smaggle Daggle, on finishing, the, um, on finishing the giraffe challenge in Planet Zoo. But I don't care, because we're helping real life giraffes. So whatever. <laughs> So that said, um, okay, let me, let me, give me a moment. I, I now understand how Luina got broken when, when you guys totally helped her out. She's supporting the exact same conservation, by the way, which is how, again, I knew we were twins. <laughs> but if you guys would like to, I'm going to have to go through the list and I think we'll watch a baby giraffe in Planet Zoo while I do it. Annie, thank you so much. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Annie, thank you, you guys. All of this is going to go to the giraffes, and this is just fantastic. And again, remember, it's not just them. You take care of one population, and then you are taking care of everything around them which is why it's so important to pick those big keystone species. We'll talk more about it in a little bit. Uh, but all right, so, and Annie, oh my gosh, that's the sticker set and the exclusive postcard, by the way. Whew, okay, I need, I need a sip of water and then I'm going to share with you guys <laughs> the, um, the giraffe, perks that we have. We blasted our goal to smithereens already. Wow. Oh, Ren, I love keystone species. Beavers are one of my favorite keystone species because they can freaking build an entire lake. I can't really think of other species that could, that can change the environment as much as a beaver other than an elephant. Apparently, one of the biggest problems with elephant reserves is that they like to rip everything up. If you try to contain an elephant herd, they will shred everything. They will rip up every tree. They will destroy every bush. They will tear apart every blade of grass. So you have to have elephants have a huge corridor they can move through or they will destroy it all. That's why when you go to a zoo, you may often think, why don't the elephants have grass and trees? They will rip it to pieces. They will destroy every single blade they can. And when we were at the San Diego Zoo, the Ellie girls had tons and tons of toys. They had lots of snacks. They had fresh fruit laid out along their pool. But one of the Ellie girls really wanted the magnolia tree that was growing near the exhibit. So she figured out a way to push her toy up to the edge of the wall and kind of stand and lean on her toy so she could start ripping the magnolia tree branches down. <laughs> 
So if you've ever been to a zoo and wondered why don't the elephants have like more greenery in their area, they will not stop till it's gone. <laughs> so that is why. And Tisha, thank you so much. <laughs> That is just fantastic. You you did just an amazing... Thank you, all of you. Just freaking thank you. All right. If you would like to learn more about the charity, you can do hashtag charity, or excuse me, exclamation point charity. Donate is exclamation point donate. And then the perks are exclamation point perks. I'm going to have to catch up with all of you guys who like donated already because it's been amazing. Oh, and thank you, Annie. I hope you're having such a great time. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes! Yamika, that's exactly the the documentary that I like. So you watch the documentary on Netflix about the Giraffe Conservation Foundation when they loaded a dozen giraffes on a boat to cross the river. And yeah, they can't be tranquilized uh, because giraffes don't react well to it. You can't trank a giraffe. So the closest thing you can do to try to move a giraffe is just like cover its eyes and convince it to walk on onto some sort of truck and then cross your fingers. <laughs> That's not an easy job. <laughs> but all right, so let me go ahead and explain the perks uh, really quickly because we have a heckin' amazing time. Uh, but on the perk list, if you donate a dollar, which has now been obliterated uh, from our goals, everyone who donates will be entered into a grand prize rally. And the grand prize I will reveal to you in just a moment. Uh, but you will also get a special Discord role on our Discord called Giraffe Stampede 2020. So do keep that in mind. We'll have to track all of you down uh, for giving that Discord role. One dollar is a serious thank you for helping our amazing giraffes in entry in the, in the raffle. Also one dollar or one bit, basically. Uh, well, 100 bits because 100 bits equals a dollar. And then if you donate $2, we have a brand new alert called Run Baby Giraffe Run. <laughs> hey, social, welcome, welcome. $5 is a giraffe added into my joy journal. So I have giraffe stickers. <laughs> and I have a lot of giraffes I'm going to need to put down. I have more stickers, thank goodness. <laughs> and Alari. <laughs> Did you just become a giraffe mystic? I think you did. I think you and T-Chef are giraffe mystics, actually. Oh my word. All right, all right. I see how it is, I see how it is. Okay, give me one second. Oh my gosh. Okay, I will explain giraffe mystic in just a moment. I need to be able to finish a sentence. $5. You get added into my joy journal, my personal joy journal for all eternity uh, with a little sticker of a giraffe that will go in here and I will write your name under it. Toby! <laughs> Toby, thank you so much. And I'll catch up with chat in just a second, guys. I'm just trying to make sure I can actually explain. <laughs> you guys just, I'm like shaking now. I am shaking. You are so amazing. Oh, and the double donation like alerts is because I need to add in uh, the bits manually. <laughs> Matt! <laughs> Matt, I think that you're a giraffe mystic now too. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, um, what <laughs> even is happening? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm legit gonna cry. Breathe, breathe. <laughs> Okay, hang on. I need to catch up. Okay. All right. Let me let me put that down. Good 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 gravy. 40 minutes in. Good 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 gravy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. You guys are amazing. What where was I? Where was I? Oh, yes. Please excuse me. You have broken Siri.exe with love and joy and holy crap, we really can do, oh, now my hands are shaking. We really can do things to change the world and make it a better place. Wow, I mean, I knew we did that already, but this is a whole different level where we can go up to somebody who has dedicated his life to trying to protect an animal that most people just kind of ignore. And we're gonna be able to tell him, we've got your back, dude. And, and mm, that's special. Okay, hang in there, Siri. <laughs> $5? 
you're in the, the Joy Journal evermore. Six dollars, which we're going to have to debate about this. It might be exactly six dollars. Um, you actually get a giraffe added in the Joy Journal. And I shall eat a leaf. You shall feed giraffe Siri a leaf or strawberry or grape of my choice from my little giraffe treat bowl. <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to show that to you guys yet. Uh, $10 adopt a giraffe of your very own in zoo crafting and the name you pick will be the name evermore. All right, let me see. Is it perks or perk? Yeah, perks. Uh, so a lot of you guys have now adopted giraffes in zoo crafting and I will have to chase you all down for the names when we get into zoo crafting later. 15 was stickers! Exclusive Pixel Biology stickers! So if you have donated 15 or if you donate 15, uh, you will get a special sticker set. So you'll have some special giraffe themed stickers and you will have those sent to your home. And it's really fun because I only have a few of these zoo crafting ones left. So you'll get a exclusive zoo crafting sticker. You can't get these stickers anywhere else because I don't have a merch shop or anything open up yet. Sometimes I send these out with the Patreon postcards. Do you recognize this one? It's our little giraffe emoji! Woo! Oh my gosh! And of course, some Stay Curious stickers as well. So you'll be getting those. <laughs> Desiree Lasagna! <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm like throwing things everywhere now. Oh my gosh! So we have stickers. Hang on, I'm I'm catching up. Desiree, hi. <laughs> okay, all right. Don't cry, Siri. Don't cry. Mmm. Okay. And that's I I mean don't cry in the like I'm just I love all of you way. Like, oh my word, oh my word. <laughs> Alari, we might have to make a special pride, like, giraffe, a giraffe out of rainbows after all this. Because this is amazing. <laughs> Desiree, thank you! Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Okay, let me add those in carefully. There we go. Alara, you can do that! Yes! We should make a pride-themed giraffe for sure. A, a little pride-themed giraffe emote. Maybe we can have two giraffes and then you could just like mix and- What if we had mix and match your giraffe emotes? Now I'm actually gonna have to try to partner. <laughs> that would be so much fun! Oh my gosh, we could just like, instead of having a whole bunch of various emotes, we could just have mix and match giraffe emotes. <laughs> Oh, T, I'm so glad. Thank you so much for the help. Heckin'? Okay, where was I? I can do this, and then we can actually start playing Planet Zoo. We have already missed out on the draft challenge, but whatever. We're gonna have a great time playing Planet Zoo and then zoo crafting later. Um, $25, <laughs> a series sticker set, and let me grab it. A vintage exclusive Patreon postcard of Siri and the giraffe and a very touching story about what I think about growing up on the back. You patrons have already got one, but I, you're welcome to give it to a friend. I'll send extra perks. There'll be little goodies hiding in the $25 group too. And then $30, if you have donated $30, the idea is that you have been working in the laboratory and have created a pygmy giraffe. And if you have donated $30, then we will add a pygmy giraffe to zoo crafting using the, the custom NPC mod. And you will have your very own pygmy giraffe in a special area, a habitat that we will build for the pygmy giraffes. <laughs> because I don't know if you guys ever saw that commercial. <laughs> but um, I love the pygmy giraffe commercial because it's so freaking cute. And thus, we're, we're like, here, here's a picture from the Pygmy Giraffe commercial. So we're gonna bring it to life if you have donated $30 and we are going to add it in to Zoo Crafting. And it will belong to you, my friends. Uh, let me see if I can show the picture real quick. It's a very old commercial, but thanks to the wonders of the interwebs, it has survived on in memes of late, which makes me very happy. All right, here we go. This is this is the commercial where the super rich swanky man 
of dubious origins got a pygmy giraffe and i fell in love with that idea so if you have donated 30 you you too will get a pygmy giraffe in zoo crafting <laughs> apparently we're gonna have a herd of pygmy giraffes now um, and you will also receive the Discord role Pygmy Giraffe ever forevermore. And then at $50, an exclusive set of our out of stock Siri and Giraffe pins. Siri and Giraffe pin and the Leafy Heart pin that you can get nowhere else right now because we do not have a shop set up. And it, they will be sent to your home no matter where you live. And you will get all of the other sticker perks and vintage postcards and a Pygmy Giraffe as well. And then finally at $100, which to my awe, shock, and joy for our community, we have a couple Giraffe Mystics now running around, is Giraffe Mystic. You will receive the unique Giraffe Mystic role in our Discord forevermore. An NPC of your choice will be added into our zoo crafting world, and I will very badly, but with all of the sincerity in my Ossicone heart, do my best to draw you your own giraffe or at least upper giraffe portion and i am going to try my best even though it's going to be hard and we'll have to we'll have to talk giraffe mystics i'm going to try my best to break out my never before used watercolors and i will very badly but with all of the sincerity in my heart paint you a giraffe with the spots in whatever colors you choose <laughs> You could go rainbow, you could just go for like blue and green, you could go for traditional giraffe, but I will I will make you an art a never before seen one of a kind art creation. Um and it will it will be yours. And then our donation goals were bronze goal 100, silver goal 200, and gold goal 300. We blasted them. <laughs> Uh, so now we're going to adopt a giraffe from the Giraffe Conservation Foundation together. I will wear my onesie for the rest of the month during live streams. And then I'm going to actually cave and use my fun money budget to order the Gracie plushie. So that the Gracie plushie will join our plushie group and we will have the only giraffe in Animal Crossing represented in the amazing Gracie plushie and we're going to have a fashionista fury challenge that's basically going to be like Iron Chef but in a closet and we'll talk about that later. You guys have already done all of it. The heck? <laughs> so now uh, I'll just take the extra and we might actually be able to adopt two drafts from the Draft Conservation Foundation now um, and you're all amazing. Thank you. All right. Heckin. <laughs> I know, right, Crisis Swap? <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and, um, would you guys like to chill with Planet Zoo and some cute babies now? Because I, I, I think we could go ahead and chill with Planet Zoo and some cute babies now. Because, uh, that, that sounds pretty good to me. Oh, and hey, Beth! So tonight is all for giraffes. Oh my gosh, Paint Seagull, if I knew what to do for Platinum Goal. <laughs> But the subs definitely help. So like subs and gift subs are like for helping the channel grow. Oh, and Nature of Gaming Twitch, the raffle winnings was actually the grand 100 prize. The raffle winnings, if you donate even a dollar, you will end up in the raffle and every dollar will give you another ticket. You will get the pins, you will get the stickers, you will get uh, added into my joy journal, and you will get the... Very badly done, but I put all of my heart into it. Watercolor. <laughs> I know, bowling for otters. I know, right? So any of you who have donated, you do have a spot for the grand prize as well. Uh, and if you already ended up getting like the giraffe mystic, then we're going to talk and I might have to get you a little baby giraffe of your own. Oh, all right. So I need a little water, please. <laughs> Hi, Spirit Tiger. Wow. You guys. You're amazing. You're so amazing. Hey, Chef Matt. Thank you. Oh, Monkey Boy. Thank you so much. Let me add that in. All right. There we go. I am so tickled. I am just so tickled by all of you. Uh, all right. So the plan tonight was, my friends... Oh, awkward! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Thank you, awkward! <laughs> 
Never, never, never will I underestimate you guys again. <laughs> oh, and yes, Crisis Wolf, normally my face cam will be on the other side, but all of the information in Planet Zoo is on this side. Um, but, all oh, right, I know the videos are just flying everywhere. You people are so fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping for International Draft Day. What the world? And heck, oh, I, I, I just thank you. You have you have completely broken me, my friends, with with the sheer joy. Look at this baby. Look at this baby. What should we name this baby? I feel like we need to name her like Champion Princess, like something something fantastic. This is a little female baby giraffe who I haven't given a name yet. I, I absolutely, Charity, <gasps> British Lemur, that's the perfect name. We're going to name her Charity, meaning like the charity and the empathy that we carry within our hearts. That's perfect. So this is Charity, friends, and she is an unnamed baby giraffe uh, who's going to be wandering around in Planet Zoo tonight. And so, well, now she's named. I apologize if my thoughts are all over the place and I'm a little skittered. Ah, uh, don't cry. <laughs> I'm so amazed at what we've been able to do. Thank you. Man, does that ever make seven years of working on our YouTube channel and our community just feel fantastic? Nature Call, thank you. Helping giraffes and getting exclusive Siri goodies. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, so here's my plan, friends. Awkward, thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh my word. Okay. Okay. Let's watch the baby for a minute. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to actually... Let me check because I think we just missed the giraffe challenge. Yeah, zero minutes left. So we just missed the giraffe challenge. And for some reason, it didn't count any of my contributions anyway. Curse you. <laughs> And Monkey Boy, thank you so much for the videos. Oh my gosh, let me add that in too. Oh, Librarian! <laughs> okay, we're gonna watch Giraffe Baby for a minute while I go ahead and, and make everything work. <laughs> Give me just a moment. <laughs> okay, Charity, you, you be adorable for us while I catch up on the donations and the bits. Oh my word. You guys. Okay, let me add that in. There we go. There we go. And librarian, I know you're in here somewhere. There you are. All right. Oh my hack. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. All right. Whew. Okay, let me catch up with you guys. CRAC has stopped working from excitement. Please stand by. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Holy cow. Look at this little one. We're helping to save her actual real species. That's amazing. That's just so amazing. All right. So, Beth, hey. Oh, my goodness, Beth. And I need to actually go ahead and add in, uh, add in your strange chicken. Temptation the giraffe is about to have a baby. We're gonna pause things for just a second and I will catch you guys up on everything. Tonight, I hope you can bear with me while I am just completely mind blown, flummoxed, almost in tears, in love. Beth, eight months. Beth's eight months strange chicken. There we go. I will come up with a better statue in the near future, Beth. But I think the strange chicken, she just she just says it all. It's just so freaking amazing. And empathy. You know what, guys? We're going to name our giraffes tonight for sure after very special, like, empathy and, and uh, like, kindness and charity. Uh, let me go ahead since... Okay, so what the plan was tonight, as Smaggle pointed out earlier, is we were going to try to complete the rest of the Such Great Heights challenge and release giraffes and Planet Zoo to the wild. However, you guys blew everything out of the water so much in the first hour that instead we are going to actually go ahead and we are going to um, 
just be working in Planet Zoo for like the next hour and having fun. I'm gonna slow down the aging. We're just gonna chill. We're gonna enjoy the giraffes. We're gonna build, we're gonna talk, we're gonna admire the animals. And then we'll be switching to zoo crafting most likely later. Uh, and we'll be admiring even more giraffes over there too. Uh, we'll have to see how we feel because now I'm just like blown away. So let me slow down the aging so that we can just kind of have a chill night and I can catch up on all of the giraffe stickers I need to put in my joy journal. <laughs> oh my word. All right, slow it all down, friends, slow it all down. There, I slowed down the aging. We're gonna watch Charity for just a minute. And Serenity sounds like such a cute name too. Okay, let me go ahead and have some water. We're gonna watch the baby. And then I'm going to have some water and some tea. And then I'm going to catch up with you guys. Look at her. I, I am, oh, look at the little piglets in the water. That is so cute. I cannot believe that we are working together to save like her real, her real family. Thank you. Okay. All right. Peace and prosperity are adorable names too. All right, let me go ahead and at the very least, I'm going to come in and I'm going to try to catch up really fast with all of you people who need giraffe stickers in my joy journal. So at the end of the night, we can hold up our tower of giraffes. And meanwhile, I would love to hear more about your guys' champion animals. That's what I'm gonna start calling them. So we all have favorite animals and I have a lot of favorite animals. But like I said, giraffes are the ones that I will go up to bat for. Giraffes are the ones that I will fight for. And I would love to know what your guys' champion animals are too. And I'm gonna come through and... Mataruski! You started us off, my friend. So I'm gonna put in some stickers real quick and then show you guys. Heckin! And I'll give you guys, if you donated more than once after the... Let me find them. After the $5, I will go ahead and give you more leaves. Mataruski. Tigers or any wildcat, really? Ooh, the, the Bengal tigers. Ooh. And band room bat. Yeah, because like this is not just your favorite animal, but this is the animal that like if they were endangered or in need or, you know, you needed to do something to try to help their wild populations, you would go the distance for. I would love to know which ones count for you. Believe it or not, the other animal, other than giraffes, that I'll go the distance for and have donated a lot of money and time to try to help, hey Yoda, is actually the hellbender. I actually think hellbenders are amazing. And they really deserved... Ruski, Madam Ruski, there we go. They really deserve some protection. They are giant salamanders. And they only really are able to thrive in populations of undisturbed water in the mountains here in uh, like the east coast of the United States. And so if you have people moving the rocks around or climbing on the rocks a lot, or if you have polluted water, the hellbender just can't make it, which is just so sad. All right, let's see. So there's Mataruski. And then we have Tom Kelly. Welcome, Tom Kelly. Holy cow, we're gonna have such a tower of giraffes in here. And Tasmanian Devils, Mangaroo, and Komodo Dragons. <gasps> How are the Tasmanian Devil populations doing? For those of you guys who know about Tasmanian Devils, they're amazing and they have a very complicated issue uh, because, and there's Awkwarding Turtle, because the The Tasmanian Devil actually has one of the only, there's, there's a few others, but one of the only contagious forms of cancer in the whole world. And so it spreads between populations of Tasmanian Devils very easily, which is a big tragedy. And then we've got a Cookie Brookie. <laughs> that would be Alari, our artist. There we go. And then Nature Claw, for you, your champion animal would probably be both orcas and the American buffalo. <gasps> I have never seen someone talk about the American buffalo before, but that is actually my grandmother's favorite animal, my tutu lady, which is my Hawaiian grandmother. So my dad's mom, 
for some reason, she loved buffalo. And I don't know why. Maybe it's because she grew up on Hawaii and they didn't really have the buffalomps. And then KK Camel. K Camel. K. There we go. I need more giraffes. <laughs> One second. How's Charity doing? Oh, she's with the other giraffes. Heckin. Oh, Ren, you really love buffaloes too? That's so cool. I told you guys I have more giraffe stickers. We're good. <laughs> All right, let me put this down. I am shaking. I hope that you guys are cool with some giraffe asthma for a minute while I catch up on all of this. I'm pretty cool with some giraffe asthma. Spoilers, they don't make a lot of noise. <laughs> oh, and Chesta taking care of a baby elephant in real life. Aww. A crisis with the okapi. So your champion animal has got to be okapi. You love them so much, and it's crazy because I discovered them from you playing Planet Zoo. That's so cool. Okay. Oh, and <laughs> Ashfeather, thank you so much. <laughs> Ashfeather, I'm going to put down a special note somewhere on this piece of paper, like Ashfeather and the the Julian and our Julian swag. Because I, I know who your favorite is, Ashfeather. And then let me add you right in. That was good timing. Heckin'. All right. Giraffe asthma while I put down all of these giraffes in my joy journal. I'm going to be able to look at this the rest of my life in my joy journal and remember tonight and remember being able to make a difference in the world and help out these little ones who, yeah, we need a channel redemption point to take a deep breath, right? <laughs> but I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. Oh, there's Mataruski again. And then we have got Bad Mom right over here. Bad Mom, it's so good to see you too. Oh my word. All right, patient giraffe asthma. I actually, I mean, I knew about giraffes for a couple decades before I fell in love with them. I think that's one of the other amazing things about the world that we often underestimate is that just because you don't love something right away doesn't mean you're not going to fall in love later. When Chips and I went on a cross country trip to see my family in Missouri is when we actually had the opportunity to see the giraffes in the St. Louis Zoo in their giraffe barn. And before I had seen giraffes in real life, they had always been really far away. They had always been like at the back of their exhibit and I had never been up close to them. But it was winter when we were driving through St. Louis and decided to stop at the zoo. And giraffes can't be under a certain temperature, like around the low 70s is when they usually need to stay in warmer areas. And definitely by the time it's in the 40s, which, was it, which it was, they need to be in their giraffe barn. So we walked into the giraffe barn and there I was at like 26 and I looked up and I looked into the eyes of who turned out to be the grandmother giraffe of St. Louis. They have a grandmother, they have a mom, and they have a granddaughter. Uh, so they have grandma, daughter, and granddaughter, a little family unit that lives at St. Louis Zoo and has for many years. And I was looking into the grandma's eyes and she has those big, beautiful eyelashes and was just looking straight back at me. And then they came by with a bunch of bamboo brows for them to eat. And I watched as the keeper held up the bamboo as high as she could to stick it into the holder where the giraffe started tearing bamboo leaves off. And grandma, the giraffe, just looked at me the whole time, like ate some leaves, looked at me, ate some leaves, looked at me. And I fell in love. So if you feel like oh, I don't really have a champion animal, or if you just sometimes feel like there's not a lot left to discover. Darling! <laughs> know that there's always hope you can fall in love later. <laughs> My husband, 
has been nice to her to you guys. I think. <laughs> I had just gotten my head calmed down. <laughs> I need to draw my darling a giraffe. I think he wanted a hand drawn giraffe. All right, chips. All right, putting down here. Chips with lots of hearts around it. <laughs> I don't even know how many giraffe we're gonna be able to adopt now. This is amazing. What on earth? Oh my gosh. I know, I, I just literally, tea leaf, had managed to calm down enough to have a long, sincere talk while we have baby giraffe asthma. <laughs> Cat queen, thank you so much. And then my husband like just just dives back in and is like, Nope. You you get back to you get back to the giggles. <laughs> Where was I? I was on bad mom's draft. And then I was going to add in librarian's draft. There we go. Librarian, you're hanging out next to chips. Moral of the story is guys, just like I met chips later in later in life. Um, then, like, everybody around me was finding their forever person. I also met giraffes later in life at 26. <laughs> yeah, not that old. <laughs> but I met giraffes later, too. And so I think for me, one of the big moral of the story to why I love giraffes so much is because they showed me that there was still so much more of the world I thought I already knew about that was left to fall in love with in a whole different way all over again. All right. And I'm almost done, I think. <laughs> you guys are just so fantastic. Matt Paint Seagull, here we go. You know, Chips tried to warn me. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I know, this is amazing. What on earth? Okay, in British Lemur, the first time you saw a giraffe in person, they were actually a lot smaller than I thought they would be. I think I hyped them up so much in my mind to be humongous giants, like 30 feet tall. <laughs> Darling, you did tell me. I showed Chips my little donation goal earlier, and I was like, oh gosh, darling, you know, I want to help giraffes as much as we can, but I, I, I just... You know, I don't know. We've never done a charity fundraiser before, guys. So I was really nervous and I was really like, oh, like, is it all gonna work? Are people, ah, and, and, mm, don't cry, Siri. You guys have shown me, heckin' yeah, it'll work. You guys, you guys have got it. You guys know how to change the world together, heckin'. And Rin, that's one of the genuine things I really love about life. You find something you can really be passionate about or people you care about that'll change the rest of your life and you never expect it. And that's exactly true. Like, I, I'm not a huge fan of the phrase, it gets better, um, all the time. Hey, Uncle Funky! <laughs> because, because that sounds so passive. So I wish that instead of saying it gets better, we had uh, we had a little bit more of an engaged phrase that says something really like, you will love again. Something like that. Or that doesn't sound so desperate, but like, uh, you will find more to love. And I, I feel like that's what I wish I could tell people. Uh, and that's why giraffes mean to me. They, I, I will find more to love. And that that's what they inspire me for. All right, and then Wolfie, Siri, you're beautiful, you're amazing, you're kind, you're loving, no wonder Chips married you, you're the most awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you, Wolfie. And your champion animals are wolves and pangolins. Wolves are extremely popular for that. And Ziva, thank you very much for the tea time. Um, and honestly, I used to be really, I tell you guys this story all the time, I used to be really depressed. I mean, I lived in my parents' basement for like three years and just didn't leave, ever. Um, and I used to be really sarcastic. Like, I picked the name seriously, because I was like, yeah, I'm serious. I'm serious about life, and no one else is. That's why I picked the name. Then I ended up inverting the name and flipping it around to be kind of a pun on how playful I am in life now, too. Uh, and I mention that because I, I always appreciate when people say that I'm, like, amazing and awesome, but I think what you guys are actually seeing is being engaged with joy. 
and being able to just see the world with love and joy. And the way you do that is you stay curious and you celebrate the things you love. I'm wearing a giraffe onesie. I'm sticking giraffe stickers in my joy journal. Fancy, fancy. And if you do that, I mean, how can you not wake up every day and just be happy for it? There might be work you don't wanna do. There might be things you wish you could change. But I think if you're able to engage every day celebrating your own joy, then on the whole, even if it wasn't a perfect day, you're gonna be so much happier in life and you're gonna be so glad at the end of it that you got to go on that journey. So there we go. Cyber, since seriously is one of my favorite things to say now. Oh, and just a, yeah, man, don't, don't get me talking about joy again though, you guys, because you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna have to rant to you all about keeping joy journals again. And speaking of joy journals, let me see how far I've made it into the list. There's Paint Seagull. Cyber Red Panda! Hey, Madeline! Welcome, welcome! All right, let's see. Cyber Red Panda. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I'm like a thousand percent invested in like in Charity, the baby giraffe now. I need everything about her. Oh, Mudkip! Hi, <laughs> thank you so much. All right, I need to get you in here too. Like I need Charity to be a thousand percent happy the rest of her forevers. Cause this is just amazing. And the elephant should be okay. I'll check in on the Ellie. Oh, she's sleeping. Yes, I know that Ellie looks really scary over here. And indeed Charity appears to be somewhat concerned for the Ellie's well-being. But I promise you that is what the sleeping Ellie's look like. So that's just, that's a sleeping Ellie, right? Yeah, that's Derek. He's just taking a nap. Don't mind Derek. He does that. <laughs> I love how we just have like a day in the life of a baby giraffe going on right now. Oh. Oh, Inkwell, you can feel the hype through the screen, right? Let's see. Oh, and you're, let's see, Constantinople. So your champion animals are the Addicts and the maybe extinct Zanzibar Leopard and the Congo Beefowl. Oh, Cat Queen. Thank you, thank you. Oh, heckin'. And yeah, Jeremac, that was really good to check and see if he was hurt or not. I totally agree. Freaking amazing people. Oh, my word. <laughs> and Cat Queen, because you donated exactly exactly two dollars you got to set the baby giraffe loose again uh congratulations i think that uh, is the very first time ever in all of history that that alert which is brand new tonight has ever been used before all right where was i cyber red panda i i just want to catch up on this real quick to make sure t-chef it's your turn t-chef oh my word i'm gonna decorate with tons of other stickers into my joy journal later but I just want to make sure I don't miss anybody's giraffe real quick. Where are you going? Where are you going, Charity? Do you guys hear the little tiny baby warthogs? You know, at first I really wasn't sure what I thought about baby warthogs, but I have come to love them. And Toby! <laughs> Thank you, Toby. For the second time ever, we are going to be releasing the baby giraffe! There we go. <laughs> There it goes. <laughs> All right, and Kay the Catalia. There we go. And then all of you guys who have swag with this too, I will be contacting you over the, the course of the week. So give me a little bit of time. And by the end of the month at the very latest, like definitely reach out to me if I haven't reached out to you and we'll get you all caught up. All right, let's see, let's see. There's Mudkip. Oh my word, you guys are not gonna believe how many giraffes we have. Look how many we have already in the Joy Journal. What on earth is this? <laughs> I need another sticker sheet. We may actually go through all of the giraffes I have on these sticker sheets and I will have to start asking you guys if you wanna be elephants or not. I also love Ellie's. Baby warthogs are so freaking adorable on. And tea chef, thank you for the tea reminder. I know, right, Kay? 
<laughs> I need a second nest. Hey, Junior the Zoologist, good to see you. All right. Let me go ahead. We're almost there. Put this in. I actually just love watching them and just love seeing British Lemur. Oh, Toby, thank you. I just love seeing these happy little ones. But keep your comments coming, you guys. I know I'm taking a minute, just because I really want to make sure that I don't miss anybody to write everything down. I, we're almost there. We're really making progress now. Uh, and there's Annie! But keep, like, your, your animal stories coming. The things that just make your heart feel like, yeah, I'm going to do this. Ah! Because it warms my heart so much to hear how you fall in love with the world. Because that's really what it's all about, and that's really what I want the most. Agent Annie! That's really what I want the most out of life, is to help people fall in love more with the world. And I always tell Chips, my, my goal in life is to retire and become the little old lady at the zoo. That's what I want. Do you guys know who I mean? I, I want to become the little old lady at the zoo who is going to be standing over by the uh, the giraffes and I will have everything to tell you guys about giraffes. So that's my hope. That I can become just either the volunteer or I will just do what Chips does when we go to museums and I'll just start telling anybody who holds still long enough all about the giraffes. Um, let's see. There we go. Desiree! What on earth? This is amazing! Yay! I'm going to be wearing my onesie the rest of the month. The What? <laughs> this is so fantastic. Alright, let's see. And then, awkward. Nature Claw. We're almost there, friends. Nature Claw. Awkward monkey boy, librarian, right there. Ash feather. I think I added you in, Ash feather. Yep, right there. <laughs> Darling, Mudkip, and Toby. Yep, yay! All right, we did it, guys. <laughs> okay, so we now have caught up with everybody who has become a giraffe forever for the rest of my life added into my personal joy journal with your name under it i'm going to be using a whole bunch of the trees and the stickers and leaves to decorate around you as we go through the course of the night and i get some moments to be able to kind of catch up on decorating with stickers a few of you have become giraffe mystics i'm i don't know if i have enough webcams but i will see if i can find a way to to like live stream the watercolor paintings of making a giraffe we'll have to play with that idea um <laughs> for the siri art <laughs> and jj silver cat thank you for the tea time and we're gonna have an amazing time i i think i wanna i wanna hang out and make sure that we little baby uh grows up well and that's gonna be my goal tonight holy nest overflow batman <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, Jeremac. Yeah, I, I, cause I, I often tell Chips like, Chips is really wonderful. I, I love him so much and for so many reasons, but especially because he is a philosopher. And so whenever we talk about what should we do with our lives, my beloved darling does not let me start talking about things like we should earn a ton of money or like we should buy a big house. He always asks the hard questions of um, what really sincerely speaks to your heart. Like what sincerely will make you wake up every day very proud about what you do. And inspiring people about the natural world, getting you guys excited and feeling curious and celebrating what you love that's what does it <laughs> but all right so are you guys ready now i i feel like our job is to watch over little baby charity and maybe take care of this zoo and try to make it a little nicer for her now <laughs> you have been so amazing we have raised so much money for the giraffe survival found or the giraffe conservation foundation and 
Thank you. I, I love all of you. And thank you for your patience with baby giraffe asthma while I got in a whole bunch of beautiful giraffes into our joy journal. Oh, and then what I keep trying to remember to tell you guys is no joke, Chips and I are hoping to protect these joy journals for basically the rest of forever. <laughs> And we actually have talked about putting the joy journals in like a lockbox in a bank when we finish them because we have a marriage joy journal that we write in together to put three things in for our life together every day. We've kept it since the day we got married, like last Easter. And so every single night we ask each other what are our three joy moments. I write them in my personal journal and then we write our like united joy moments in our marriage journal. So when I say the rest of forever, I mean that we will protect this joy journal and your names in a bank lockbox if that's what it takes. Also, that was an adorable baby squeal. <laughs> and darling, okay, so you get to pick what colors you want for your, your Siri painting, hopefully soon. I can't paint it tonight because I'm not set up for that, uh, but I'll be contacting everybody about sending out the postcards and the pins and the draft colors. <laughs> Aww. And Neighborhood Dragon, some of your bestest friends are zoo volunteers who have been volunteering at your zoo for over 20 years now. They are a wealth of knowledge and they taught me a lot, not just about animals, but life in general. <gasps> that would totally be me. Oh, and Neighborhood Dragon, thank you. That would 100% be me. Like, you come for the giraffes and I hope you can walk away with some like loving life advice while we're at it. <laughs> All right, is that Charity? No, it's another baby. Let's name her Empathy. It's a little baby girl. We're gonna name her Empathy. There we go. And then we'll, we'll if we find another unnamed baby, we'll name them Serenity. Well, look, we got a whole meeting going on over here. Hi guys. Oh, I will make sure to contact you, darling. But all right guys, so baby giraffes, baby Ellie's. Heck. We've got a lot going on. I've slowed down the aging so we actually can have a chance to fix the zoo. Um, oh, and Ellie, the elephant, is about to have a baby. What would you guys like to name the baby? <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah, Liz, Liz. I, I really love keeping joy journals with chips because it also gives great insight into what brings him joy. So I feel like for a marriage concept, it really helps to strengthen any relationship. I try to do it with my family, but I have to work a little bit to catch them on at like finishing phone calls when we're checking in with each other on like, oh, did like, what are your joy moments for the last week? Did you have any joy moments? I'm trying to get them to catch on to it because I think when you give people the space to talk about the things that bring them joy, it's just a special, special experience. Compassion! Oh, an Antlered Fox production, so good to see you. What is my favorite giraffe fact? I think my favorite giraffe fact is the fact that their ossicones are super bendy and soft when they are born. And their ossicones lie flat against their head when they're born so that they don't hurt the mother in the birth canal. And then their ossicones go boink and harden up and are covered in fluffy fur. And they lose that fur off of their ossicones as they get older. So that's my favorite giraffe fact is their little poofy ossicones. Is that right? Is that right? And then their boink ossicones as they get older. You can actually tell how old a giraffe is based off of how bald its ossicones are. And you can tell if it's a female or male based off of how bald the ossicones are. The ossicones are these bits. They go on top of the giraffe head. And when they're babies, like Dixie here, where's that picture of Dixie I had? Let me add it back in. Dun, 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 dun. Is that it? No. Is that it? No. New source, add picture. Let me find that picture of BB Dixie. Cause when I first got to see Dixie, thanks for walking us into a rock wall, my wonderful elephant friend. But when I got to see BB Dixie, she was fresh. She was a fresh landed giraffe. And hey, hey Rick Whittle, welcome, welcome to the adventures. And so because she had like just landed, and when they're born, they actually fall like six feet. <laughs> but because they had just landed, oh, there we go. Too big, Dixie, but you're adorable. Dixie was very fluffy. So if you look at this baby giraffe, she was about two months old, 
uh, at this age. And she had, this was like one of her first days she had ever been outside. So she was looking so sus because an oryx was walking by her. And she was like, what are you? Like it was the cutest thing in the world. She was not sure about that oryx. And if you look at her ossicones, you can see they are covered in fur. And that is because she is a wee baby Dixie. <laughs> So those fuzzy, fluffy little ossicones, which is just so much fun. And British Lemur, your favorite giraffe fact is that they exist, to be honest. Uh, they look like they would be hanging out with unicorns in mythology. Magical, right? You know, if I ever do collect art, I think one of the things I would collect is actually old drawings of giraffes. Back when people weren't really sure what the heck they were looking at. Because I think that would be amazing. Uh, oh, and here it is. So this is why Diz Dixie was looking so sus. She saw this guy. Do you see her? She did not know what to think about that. <laughs> yeah, this is wee baby. Exactly, Alto Belta. She is not small anymore. I don't really, I can't really tell the difference between her and her mom and her aunties anymore. British Lemur, fun fact, Chips actually calls giraffes long neck horses. So that's our inside joke, is that they're long neck horses. And on, you took an animal behavior class at your city zoo? <gasps> that is so cool. One of the things you took away as a zoo goer though, is to wear natural colors and hats similar to a zookeeper if you want the animals to be calm around you. As a result, I've been mistaken for a zookeeper everywhere in the zoo. I have a bunch of hilarious and terrible stories. Mostly hilarious though. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Um, so fun fact on the whole, like you want to make sure you're wearing very neutral colors. Animals do see, like a lot of animal species do see color. Hi little one. And uh, some of them will get very excited if you're wearing bright colors. So. If you guys remember when I went to go feed the Galapagos tortoises at the San Diego Zoo, I had read that Galapagos tortoises love bright colors and flower designs. So I wore a blue, bright blue dress with blue flowers all over it on purpose, hoping I would attract the attention of the Galapagos tortoises. And if you guys have watched that video, which is the first video up on our YouTube channel, which I think, is, does that do it, the command? Or is it YouTube? And if you watch the video on the front page of my YouTube channel, you will see the Galapagos tortoise Aldo eat my dress. He chomped my dress. <laughs> so I did it. <laughs> we met that goal, um, but I wore it on purpose so that the Galapagos tortoises would come towards me for the filming. And I was tickled to pieces when it actually worked. I would have happily, nothing happened to my dress ironically, um, but I would have happily sacrificed some of my dress and kept it forever and worn it to like all of the parties. And been like, yeah, you see this rip? A Galapagos tortoise bit my dress. <laughs> that would have 100% been me. Oh, look at you, little cutie. <gasps> oh, Lori, have you gotten, ah, sorry if the Ellie's are a little loud. Have you gotten giraffe pride? What the heck? Oh, Lori, I love it. You guys to add to the huge celebrations for tonight, may I present some amazing work from our artist, Alari, who has done all of the emojis for us and all of the postcards for the most part, actually. Uh, let me, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Alari's made us a pride giraffe. Oh, it's so shiny! Alari, it's like a beautiful rainbow! It's an iridescent giraffe rainbow! Uno momento, we're almost there! Boom! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> I love it! That, that reminds me of the pigeon that we were looking at a couple nights ago, actually. We might have to temporarily retire honk or yay for Pride Month, depending on how fast Twitch can approve a new emote. And I will I will retire either honk or yay. Maybe honk or maybe yay. 
Um, and we might have to keep this as like our, either our summer or our pride month emoji for sure. Cause that is just so freaking beautiful. I can't believe you whipped that up so fast, Alari. <laughs> oh, Alari. I'm going to try to see if I can get metallic stickers of it. What do you think? That would be an amazing thing to have as like perks for the future and a little giveaway things. A metallic sticker. Beautiful. That would be amazing. Heckin' yeah! Okay! I'll contact our sticker producers and see if they can make a metallic sticker out of this. Because that would be so cool! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Cyber, you would want it for your Switch? Oh my gosh, yes. That would be amazing. <laughs> I cannot wait to paint all of those drafts now. That's going to be so much fun. They're not going to be very well done. I'm not a professional artist. I, I like to sketch occasionally, and by sketch, I mean, like, sometimes I draw... Where did I put it? I have something. Like, sometimes I, I attempt to draw things. <laughs> but it'll be so much fun. And then British Lemur. Serious question. If a giraffe were to wear a bow tie... <laughs> Chips asked me that a while ago. <laughs> we're gonna do a vote, actually. And Annie, hey! Check this out! We're gonna be able to adopt so many giraffes! I think we're gonna be able to adopt like three giraffes at this point. I can't believe it. All right. If a giraffe wore a bow tie at the top of the neck, at the base of the neck. All right, we're gonna have a cute little pole. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna have a cute little pole while you guys decide that. We're in the middle, Matt. I didn't even put that. I should have put that down as an option. I didn't I didn't even have that as an option, unfortunately. Oh my gosh. All right, do you have a name? It's Boldness. Boldness the baby giraffe. He's actually about to mature, so we'll watch him for a moment more while he matures. Uh, and then we'll we'll decorate and tidy up the zoo and and just tend to it. I think tonight our giraffes ended up being more asthma and background beauty because the, the amazingness of the charity fundraising ended up taking precedence, but I have no complaints. Also, oh, heckin! <gasps> Nim! Nimziri! Thank you so much! Oh my gosh! Let me go ahead and get you added in. Oh my word. We're gonna get you in the Joy Journal evermore as well. Oh my. And I'm going to need to give you guys... Oh my word. Okay, we'll, we will catch up on the giraffes and zoo crafting at some point too. All right, there we go. Put that down in my joy journal. And now we've got, dun 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 dun. Refresh. There we go. Nimziri! Welcome, welcome to the tower. Yay! More to the tower. The tower grows! I'm gonna cover this in more stickers so it's got tons of leaves all over it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, where am I? Hello, little guy. I think he's about to grow up. What about <gasps> Jeramac? I love that idea. So you guys say a giraffe would probably wear it at the base of the neck. I also really love Matt's idea of what about putting it in the middle of the neck. And Jeramac is in here with the galaxy brain thinking of why one bow tie. So... 76% of you, 175 votes, say that giraffes would wear a bow tie at the base of the neck. Um, and I love Jeremac's idea of why slow down at one bow tie. Why not do multiple? Good point. Good point. <laughs> oh, We don't have a wizard's tower. We have a giraffe tower. Oh, that's so true. So true, librarian. All right, I think it's going to be a little bit before boldness grows up. Amy, what's the matter? Meanwhile, we have very complaining ostriches. I don't know about you guys, but my ostriches always complain. I feel like they're always ho holding some sort of ritual when they stand around in a group like this, and they're just always complaining. Multiple bow ties. What about putting it on their ossicones? Good idea, gumdrop of horse. Oh, and Kate, no, you don't have to if that happens. 
Uh, it'll just put you in public park, basically. So we do have public parts of the Discord after you have been part of a Discord. And all right. Somebody's feeling stressed, so we need to figure out who's stressed and why. We're going to take care of our animals here. Amy, why are you so upset? Do you know why? She's feeling... I, I think she's feeling that there's a lot of people here. So let's actually put in some signs to tell the people to, like, be quiet. And not bother our poor ostriches quite so much. I don't know. Have you guys ever seen an ostrich in person? I've seen, like, two. And both were boys. And now that I think about it, I don't know if they... Like, what they were doing. I think they were just sitting down. I've seen Minnie and Emu in person. And the Emus always look like they want to fight ya. Oh, Cat Queen! Thank you so much for extending your subscription through August. Oh my heck. Let me go ahead and add in your egg! So earlier, you guys, we actually had Alari reach month 10? I can't believe that. Was it month 10, Alari? Oh my word, I think it was. Um, but... Ah, Alari, ah, okay. Strange chicken. But when you guys subscribe while we play Planet Zoo, you end up with strange chickens if you are over three months and you have little eggs otherwise. So let's, let's come over here. And you know what, Cat Queen, because you extended so far, you're definitely going to end up being a strange chicken by then. So I'm gonna add in your strange chicken statue in our giraffe zone. I'm going to put you up in one of these trees. These acacia trees that the giraffes eat in. And you can watch over the giraffes forevermore in Suhula Sand Safari. And then if you guys aren't familiar with where the heck we are, this is our Planet Zoo save, Suhula Sands. It is my all-time favorite of any of the uh, Planet Zoo adventures we've ever done. It's a mishmash of my attempts to create a vast horizons full of giraffes and other wonderful savanna species. Uh, you can see a whole playlist of it with like 60 episodes already over on our YouTube channel. Um, and we happen to come in here quite often just to look at the giraffes because they're extremely calming when they're not fighting. We had a fight. What was that about? Shyness, don't be rude. Oh, Shy got hurt. Okay, we got to call the vet. I think Shy might be ready to be released. We might have too many giraffes, so we might need to pick some to release to the wild soon. And then, I oh, Beth, I'm so glad you like it. It is my favorite of our Planet Zoo series right now. We're about ready to start a new series in Planet Zoo based around wolves pretty soon. So if you guys like wolves, as many of you guys said that they are your champion animals, uh, I'm quite curious. To, to see how you will enjoy our new Wolf Wilds that we're going to be starting up. It's going to be really fun. And then, let's see. Vet research is done. On warthogs! We have 100% researched warthogs now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it is my favorite zoo. It's just so fun. We have got uh, lions right over here. As you can see. Some lovely lions, a lot of white lions because they, they actually are super popular on the Animal Trading Center. Uh, now in real life, there are only two wild white lions in the whole world. All of the other white lions that you may have seen are actually descended from, um, descended from inbreeding groups or they are captive bred. And the only wild white lions to exist are a boy and a girl who live on a reserve. I need to look up the name of the reserve again. Uh, but they do they do happen occasionally in the wild when it's a genetic mix-up that occurs between related populations. Not really inbreeding, but you have to carry the gene basically. So there are so I know a lot of people are like, oh white lions, that's always bad. But they do happen in the wild. It's just very uncommon because of poaching. And apparently back in the 70s, there used to be a lot more white lions in that particular area. It's just something in their population carries those genes more than other populations. But it was poaching that took most of them away. So as we protect our giraffes, we will actually help to protect territories for creatures like these and whatever hidden mysteries they have in their genes as well. Also my giraffe mug. 
make an appearance. Hey, Mandy! <laughs> And British lemur, the white lions are actually not albino. They are different because they don't have the eyes that the albino animals do, and they have slightly different coloring than you'd expect for a pure albino. Uh, they're kind of like, like melanistic, like just invert the melanism on black panthers, for example. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Ren. And between poaching and the lack of camouflage, it's very difficult for the, the white lions to survive until adulthood. And actually, the last group of white lions was very well protected, but they actually ended up dying in inter-pride fights. So at some point, even though they're like only a couple of them in the wild, you have to step back and let them be wild lions. And so the last couple wild lions who were alive a few years ago actually ended up dying because they got caught up in a battle between the lion prides. And on, hey! <laughs> on, please, please, please don't pressure yourself. Oh my gosh, I am so happy to add you on into. I need more giraffe stickers. Welcome to the tower, on. Let me add you on in. Add you on in <laughs> oh my gosh i am just so tickled we're gonna really help to save so many of the animals guys all right on camnius let me get you in here with your own little giraffe sticker on camnius yay more to the giraffe wilds our little tower grows and then let me catch up Yes, exactly, Ben Roombat. There's different types of white genes. It's not just albinism. Um, and it, a band room has a great explanation right there for you guys about like lewistic animals and albino animals and the way that their genes work, which is really fun. <laughs> and then Rin, you remember seeing a documentary on interpride issues before. There was one pride that had a group of brothers, like five of them, that were super aggressive. And it, it was such a large number of them that they decimated any area they lived in. And yes, that happens a lot. Also, here's a question for you guys. I, I'm very curious. Oh, thanks. Thanks, lion. I swear, this is all they do. I get so much poop from them. I need to, like, establish another dung beetle territory in their honor. <laughs> but here's a question for you guys that I would love to know if it's reached you or not. Who rules the lion pride? Does the male lion rule the lion pride? Or do the females rule the pride? And hey, possessed babe, welcome, welcome to the adventures. So who's in charge of a lion pride? <laughs> lion society is a really amu amazing thing. And African wild dog communities just blow me away. I can't believe some of their communities can be like 60 strong. The females, yes! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you guys know that. <laughs> It is the girls. The girls are in charge of the lion pride. And the boys are there, as was mentioned, Ren, to be defensive of the overall bigger territory that it can include multiple prides and look pretty and provide genes, basically. But the lion pride is not like ruled by the male. The males, and usually more than one, they often form coalition groups where a couple of them will hang out together because, you know, you're stronger with a buddy by your side, usually the brother you grew up with. But the males will rule over a big overlapping territory, and inside that territory will usually be the territories of different prides, which will be the female groups made up of mothers, cousins, aunties, daughters, sisters, who will live together more or less their whole life. So they're in charge. The boys are in charge of their own territory, but it's a much bigger area. Oh, hey! Vanya, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome with our flock of two coming on in. Could we could we get a few like happy little giraffe, giraffe, just giraffe towers popping on in for that lovely raid? Thank you. We need lots of giraffes. I like giraffes. Can you tell? <laughs> And Jeremac, yes, actually, Chips and I have been catching a lot of fireflies in our 
walks at night lately. I like to catch the firefly and hold it in my hands. And then I like to give Chips a kiss and then release the firefly and think that the, the kiss and the wish that I made when we caught him. I, I catch the firefly, make a wish, give Chips a kiss, release the firefly, and imagine that my wish goes free. Um, and I, I like to do that, so we like to catch fireflies gently and carefully when they're out in the summer. And whenever I ask Chips what he wished for, he always tells me that it won't land on me. Because <laughs> he's not that big a, friend, a fan <laughs> of, uh, of bugs. <laughs> oh, the light butt bugs. I do love them. Alright, well while we're here, friends, let's spend a little bit more time sprucing up the area and then we'll take a poll um oh my gosh on if you guys would like to work more in planet zoo for the rest of the night or if you would like to oh um my favorite warthog baby um is about to mature also guys please we have we have our our safari has been blocked we have a baby warthog okay okay you guys seriously all right Asmin, baby warthog, please scoot over. All right, come on. Adder, you always complain when you're near people and then you just get right in the middle of the safari spot. Scoot, scoot. All right, and we have, a, we have an elephant foot in the way. Ruby, Ruby, you can store all you want over here. Thank you. Okay, now the Jeep tour can continue. <laughs> and Rice Ball, welcome, welcome to the adventures. Pardon us. Got giraffes, got a lot going on. Yeah, Baby Um is one of my favorite animals that has ever been born, just for the name. Oh yay, we have some dung! That means we get more protea flowers. Oh quick, my keepers are like cleaning this up. Oh, more dung! Quick, outrace the keepers! Okay, we play with the challenge in Suhula Sands where I can only get this species of flower, the King Protea when there is dung on the ground in the habitats and it's been a really fun way to make our planet zoo adventures more engaging because it means that you set a limit for yourself and so now whenever we hi peachy now whenever we get big piles of these flowers i'm like yes the dung has helped to fertilize this species why thank you little one i appreciate your contribution to helping add more king proteas about Oh, and there's some over here, too. You know, you can always find enough dung. <laughs> so that's why there's so many random proteas all over the place, is because we put them down whenever we find a pile of dung and say that, it, you know, it sprouted up from the fertilizer. And occasionally we'll go through and we will collect up all of the flowers and make a garden. Oh, bowling for otters! Adding a null barrier along... Uh-oh. There's... What? Why do we have protesters? That's not allowed. Heck. Heck. Also, this is a dig site as well. So anytime a new population of African wild dog is born, we try to add in a dig site. And you guys can help me pick out one of the dig site dinos. We're behind on uh, two dig site dinos. So we'll pick out a couple more and we'll put in a couple more dig sites tonight. That sounds fantastic. All right, so let me see, let me see. Where are the protesters though? Right here? It's this one protester. She's really mad. Oh my word! Oh, Inkwell! Inkwell, thank you so much! <laughs> Inkwell, let me go ahead and add in a giraffe for you as well, my friend. Dun 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 dun! Yay! Yay, yay, yay! <laughs> All right, and uh, this woman, and thank you, Inkwell, you are now part of our giraffe tower. Uh, this woman is protesting the fact that we have a bunch of miserable puff adders. I cannot blame her. There's too many puff adders in here, and I don't think that they're the happiest things, so let's spruce this up. One of the cool things, in case you play Planet Zoo and you're constantly looking for ways to spruce it up for yourself, uh, that I like to do is I like to actually say that these mini exhibits are different types of buildings. So this one is an abandoned house and any of the income that we actually get from this exhibit over at the donation box, I like to pretend isn't because it's about the puff adders. It's about the research of this ancient ruin. 
And so you can you can really add a lot more roleplay into Planet Zoo than I think people realize. And it makes it so much more fun. Anything is better with roleplay. And if you're not here for the roleplay, I don't know why you're here, but I do hope you're having a good time. All right, let's take all the old snicks and I'll leave behind a couple young snicks. There we go. And then let's fix up the abandoned house a little bit so it's a little nicer for these guys with some large rocks. Oh, that looks lovely. That they can relax in, some camouflage that they can enjoy, a nice high basking lamp they can have. Wonderful. There, and now this woman should hopefully leave because those guys are 100% happy. Oh, camel, camel key. Yeah, there's actually several species, distinct species of giraffe. Did you guys know? Did you know that you can look at the spots on the giraffe to learn the difference between them? Behold, this, my friend, is a reticulated giraffe. You can tell it's a reticulated giraffe because of the shape of the spots. This is one of my favorite giraffe facts, actually, other than the fluffy baby ossicones. Giraffe pattern. Uh, species. All right. And then if you look at, if you look at the actual patterns of giraffes, like over here, let me pull up a cool picture. Right here, gotta make this big. Boom, boom, boom. Ta-da! So this is another really cool giraffe fact. You can see their spots are different shapes. And these spots, like the thornicraft up here uh, to the top left, uh, these spots vary immensely between the subspecies of giraffe. You've got thornicraft, cordon, Rothschild, which a lot of people want to throw in with the reticulated, but genetically on a gene analysis, they are different. The West African, the Nubian, and the Nubian, the one in the center there, is the one that you will find in the desert, in the Nubian desert. Uh, so they're really cool, and they're one of the main species that the Giraffe Conservation Foundation studies. Because you can imagine living in a desert puts you a little bit on a knife's edge for survival. The South African Angolian, the Masai, has a really cool, like, branching look to their pattern. So if you ever see a giraffe that has really kind of, like, squiggly patterning, that's a Masai. And your atypical reticulated is going to have the classic kind of block shape to it. What's really cool about these patterns is that giraffes are attracted to the patterns of their own subspecies. So technically, any of these guys can breed together. And sometimes they will. But given options, they will go for giraffes that have, like they will go for like a partner giraffe that will have the same patterning that they do. Which is really cool. I love it. Yeah, the, the mossy eye does look like fractals, doesn't it? They're just so cool. I love them. There's just so much more to learn about any of the, the creatures or the things that we love. I love it, you guys. Ah, heckin. All right. And then let's come over here and let's make sure everybody else is doing good. Like we've barely done anything today in Planet Zoo. Um, oh dear. Uh, so I think our animals are actually doing well because nobody is now unhappy. Would you guys like to just pick a, a group of people and try to make the people as happy as we are now? One of my favorite things to do in Planet Zoo is just like turn on the happiness meter and grab somebody who's miserable and like be like their therapist and be like, why are you upset, sir? Is it because you're currently inside of a rock? I, I could understand that issue. Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll go ahead and grab them. Thank you, tea chef, I'll have another sip of tea. <laughs> British slammer. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, forget people, let's watch the giraffes more, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, but we'll, let's grab a random group of people. Um, Cause I think all of our giraffes are doing pretty well. Look at, oh, it's giraffe nap time. Everybody's snoozing. Another fun fact, since tonight is learning more about giraffes and their amazingness, here's another cool fact I learned from that documentary that hopefully we'll be seeing, I'm guessing Tuesday night on our Discord. Uh, when giraffes lay down like this, 
they sometimes will take turns. And you'll have one giraffe. They, they don't socialize, really. They will travel around in herds for group protection. Um, but they don't really snuggle. They don't cuddle. They don't spend a lot of time making best friends. Their groups are really loose and organic and kind of come together and drift apart pretty regularly. But what they have discovered is that they've got each other's backs when they sleep. So one giraffe will lay down on the ground like that. They don't sleep for long. Usually a giraffe only sleeps for 20 minutes a day. Another really cool giraffe fact. They're ruminants, so they're able, or well, I don't know if they're ruminants, but they're a type of herbivore that's able to turn off sections of their brain at a time to like nap half their brain and then carry on with their life and then nap the other half their brain and carry on with their life. And that protects them because then they're not exposed to predators. But the rare times when they need a whole sound sleep, if they're with another giraffe, they usually take turns. One giraffe will lie down and the other giraffe will keep watch and they will make really low sub vocal noises through the ground at one another to check in and let them know if anything's going wrong. So they will actually send out a, a alarm if something's happening and you need to wake up to wake the other giraffe up, even if they're really far apart. Um, and help each other out that way. And it's just not an alarm we can hear. <laughs> but I always thought that was really, really cool. Oh my goodness. <sighs> All right. And Cat Queen, yeah, the people in the zoo, they're, they're, doing, they're doing zoo stuff. Tag team napping, the best kind of napping. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I'm gonna grab a group of miserable people they're really, really thirsty. And they're heading to the water place, though, so I think they'll be okay. Well, you know what, guys? Actually, I'm kind of feeling very excitable. I love our giraffes over here. I love our baby Ellie's. And here we see a group of homo sapiens in the wild. <laughs> Watch as they migrate around those barriers to look in at us. Oh, and librarian, I love it. There's so many people. Okay, what what what's your guys' biggest complaint? The education, huh? Huh. I feel like I'm educating them pretty well, but apparently that's their biggest complaint. Let's see what the education map says. We've been doing a lot of education today. <gasps> we have entire swaths of space where they are not learning about ossicones. This is a travesty. We need to fix this. All right, let's 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 get in here. We're gonna add in some education billboards and we're going to teach these people about the amazingness of giraffes. Um, if you wanna eat, you have to pay the price and learn about giraffes while you're at it, friends. So up we go. Okay, how can I fit this in? Maybe in between the tables. You can chill and you can learn. All right, there we are. We'll just hang that right there. Come on over. Learn about giraffes. That's why you're all here, I'm sure. And then we'll put another one over here. There we go. There we are. And we'll change it to the Ellie's. Because the elephants are another big thing. <sighs> and the security, yeah. And more energy drinks, Manatee. More energy drinks would be really well. But right, we're actually at two hours in, so I'm actually wondering. I'm gonna do a little poll. Because we blasted the goal, I really, I wanna wrap up our night for the next hour with something sweet and fun. So. Uh. Oh, oh! <laughs> oh, Beth! Beth, oh my word, Beth! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Beth, thank you! <laughs> oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, okay! Okay, 
Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Give me a moment. Oh my gosh. I think I know the answer to this. Listen to those little port hogs. Okay. All right. Wow. <laughs> I know. I know, Alari. I think we're going to be able to break 100k. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I made a poll for the, for the next hour. What would you amazing people like to do? We have a hand giraffe asthma. Um, and I would like to know what, what you guys would like to do. It's actually harder to do planet zoo. Don't you dare fight you two. Shyness, you are just picking. Okay, Shyness, no, look, Shy is pregnant. Leave her alone. Heck hey, Megan, welcome, welcome. <laughs> okay, uh, I have a poll up right now, you guys. I think we've had a good time with our Planet Zoo. I love it so much, but we do have daily episodes of it. Uh, so I would like to know what you guys would like to do for the rest of the night. Would you like to do some Animal Crossing chill? Um, Shyness, for crying out loud. And hey, Peachy Pies! Would you like to do some zoo crafting, um, some zoo crafting zoo check where we can go ahead and pop into the zoo crafting zoo? We will definitely be doing zoo crafting at some point in the coming week too because we have a lot of giraffes. Ah, we have a lot of giraffes. Oh my gosh, Beth, I need to add you in here too. I can't believe, Beth, I'm going to be painting you. You are a giraffe mystic as well. And I'm going to be painting you a giraffe too. I'm shaking again. My hands are shaking as I add this little giraffe in. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, there we go. There we go, Beth. You have been added in. I'm physically shaking. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh my goodness. I know, I know. Zoo crafting, zoo crafting would be really fun, too. Um... And the Joy Journal up close? Yes, of course, darling. Ta-da! Here's page one of the Zoo Craft Day, or the, the little, um, the little Joy Journal. Here's page two. All of you forever and ever and ever in my personal Joy Journal as this amazing Giraffe Stampede 2020. Which is so cool. I love it. This, by the way, I will be very proud to let you guys know that this is an Ellie Pooh joy journal. It is literally made from that, right there. Do you see this right here on the ground? It's about to get scooped up, look quick. That elephant poop, that's what this journal's made out of. This is a uh, from a group who work with at-risk populations. So usually like women who need uh, some gainful employment and they, they work with a elephant conservation zone and collect the elephant poop and elephant dung from the elephants. Elephants eat so much plant matter that they usually don't digest a lot of it. Uh, so, so what happens is that the elephant plant or the elephants eat, eat a lot of plant matter. They eat so much of it, they don't digest most of it. And so what they leave behind, you're actually able to take and clean and rinse out and have a lot of plant matter left. And so they use that plant matter to make elephant poop paper out of recycled paper. So they combined the elephant poop with recycled paper matter. And then they sell these Ellie Poo journals. That's what they're called, Ellie Poo. And they use the proceeds to take care of elephant, take care of the elephants. So. Not only do you get a giraffe forevermore, but you also get added into the Ellie Poo Joy Journal. And yes, exactly, guys. I tell you what, we will have a full zoo crafting stream. So we're gonna wind down tonight with Animal Crossing because that's what y'all voted on. But Beth, don't worry. I know zoo crafting is where your heart is. Um, and thank you so much, Cat. <laughs> Go crazy. <laughs> we're like almost to a thousand dollars. I cannot believe this. <laughs> 
I literally cannot. You guys are just so freaking fantastic. And cat! Oh my gosh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cat, I do believe. There we go. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Happen? I know you're in here, Cat. Let me check something real quick. Sure enough, Cat, we're gonna add you into the tower too. <laughs> So yeah, that's one of the ways. Earlier, Peline was asking like different ways you could help to like take care of the animals and take care of the world and thus the world that we all share. And even picking, when I pick a joy journal now, I try to find eco-conscious journals to get. And getting the Ellie Poo journal is the way that I'm able to accomplish getting something as simple as just picking out a journal and making it do good. And that just feels fantastic when you can turn around and you can add that little extra bit to do good in the world that way. And uh, okay, just so you guys know, uh, we will be switching to Animal Crossing. However, I know that so many of you have your hearts set on zoo crafting and that we originally were gonna do zoo crafting, but I think what I wanna do is I'm going to move zoo crafting to another day so it can be its whole arc of a stream. So that it can be, <laughs> <laughs> so that it can be a whole a whole zoo crafting day and we will spend the whole time working with giraffes and just exploring the zoo crafting world and awkward thank you so much we've done it <laughs> We have passed a thousand dollars raised for the Giraffe Conservation Foundation. A thousand dollars! Can you guys believe? Can you believe how amazing this is going to be? Like, literally. That's. I mean, one of the reasons I love, love, love being able to support animal centric and oh my gosh, Lori! <laughs> oh, Lori! One of the reasons I love being able to support animal-centric organizations is that you know you are absolutely saving lives with all of that. Like, it, 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 you know that there is going to be an animal life that is going to be better off because of what you have chosen to do. This is, this is just amazing. You guys are amazing. I am, I am... Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, all of you, for sharing your champion animals, for sharing this passion, for wanting to do something for a creature that literally cannot speak up for itself, and for all of the world that is around it. This is fantastic. This is amazing. Zoo crafting fans, we're going to have a special day later this week that's going to be dedicated 100% to zoo crafting, adding in all of the giraffes that we will need to name from the people who donated. We will be spending a lot of time in the zoo. I will be wearing the giraffe onesie. We're going to be having a great time. And Crisis Wolf, I'm, I'm going to think about that. Like, I'm going to contact uh, the Giraffe Conservation Foundation. And we will probably run a couple more draft days, at least. <laughs> and Unicorn Mermaid Flower, again, it's not about how much you can donate, because that's not the only way to change the world. You could do things today that will help you. Any, Like I said, honestly, anything you can do to help with climate change, which all of us have a ton we can do to do that, will totally help. And Beth, thank you so freaking much. And Awkward! <laughs> Awkward, thank you so much. I cannot believe this. You guys have given me so much just joy. And I, okay, I, 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 you guys know it. You guys know what I'm trying to say. And if I, if I start rambling, I, I, I don't even know how I'm gonna be able to breathe. Let me put in these eggs. Awkward, thank you so much for the eggs. We're gonna put in a little collection, a little nest of eggs over here. For MTC, 40,000. For Moon Leo, we've got Cami Kitty, we've got Erica J, and we've got Phoenix Hunter too. Let me get your eggs in here. There we go. 
There we go. And then right over here, we have got... Welcome, Moon Leo. Moon Leo 3. You guys! Together! We're saving some of the world together. That's just amazing. All right, Cammy Kitty, welcome. You officially have been added into the nest. Erica J, so good to see you. And Phoenix Hunter, this seems extremely apt to have you in here. There we go. But all right, so I'm gonna get the switch. Like I said, we'll have a whole zoo crafting day and probably a couple of them. Uh, we might keep the charity going for a couple more days at least and like some of the perks and stuff as well because I know a lot of people wanted to participate and today was Father's Day which made it even more awkward for people to get involved because a lot of people were busy with Father's Day stuff. Uh, so actually I think I've got most of everything ready to go for the switch right here. But we will unwind, and I actually appreciate the chance to dive into Animal Crossing at this point so that I can wind down from this amazing hype. We've gotten so tall! We have so many towers! <laughs> We're gonna be able to adopt so many giraffes. So, yeah! Heck! Amazing! You guys, thank you! Also, before we go, we need to take care of more puff adders. What the heck? Why are they always, always so many puff adders? All right. All of you except these two, please go in here. There we go. <laughs> and Miss Disappointment, welcome, welcome to the adventures. All right, let me go ahead and save our zoo here and catch up with all of you. Oh, and Lizmi, Lizmi, thank you so much for continuing your gift sub that you got from Kohara Moon. Oh my word. All right, let me come over here. This is amazing. Look at our Ellie's bathing. And honestly, I think one of my favorite parts tonight, other than blasting the goals so far out of the water and out of the stratosphere, Lizzie is swiftly... Oh, Beth, thank you! <laughs> Beth, you guys! It's been hearing about your champion animals, and it's been hearing about... You know, with everything that goes on sometimes, you just feel so, like... Is there anybody who wants to save how amazing this world is together? We're the generation, my friends, that a lot of this, like, no matter what our age is, if we're alive right now, a lot of what's going to happen is, like, on our shoulders. And I'm just so proud of all of you. I am so proud of all of you. Thank you. And Beth, thank you so much for gifting Emma, Emmy's Nook, a sub. Let me come on in here and add these eggs in. Emmy's Nook. There you go. And we've got April Fool. 401. We've got Finchin. What a cute freaking name. I love that. Alright, where are we gonna put you, Finchin? How about up here with the trees? Alright. There, there we go. Finchin, welcome. Welcome to the nest. There we are. And then it is not Tallstar. <laughs> that sounds suspiciously like something Tallstar would say, my friend. Just suspiciously like that. All right, all right, get over here, get over here. Oh my gosh. And hey, Luke's welcome, welcome. Oh, oh heck. Oh no, ah! Okay, hang on, just one second. Is not Tallstar. I'm even more suspicious now. There we go. Is not Tallstar. Forever after, like, cause I, I keep these zoos like forever. So all of you guys will have some special nest eggs that send off feathers. If you notice, there's actually dandelion fluffs that I pretend are feathers that come up from each one of these eggs, which I love. And then Mother Night Rose, welcome literally to a nest. <laughs> oh, thank you, you guys. All right, let me catch up. I think I have, oh, and baby Sunny, thank you so much. <laughs> a couple more dollars to our giraffes. Baby Sunny, there we go. This is amazing. I'm blown out of the water. And you have released the baby giraffe. <laughs> All right, let's save the zoo. There we are. And then let me check, I think. Let me wake up the switch again. And we're gonna wind down the rest of the night, my friends, with Animal Crossing. There we go. And best girl, welcome, welcome to the adventures. Also, shh, no peeking. I was recording Pokemon earlier. So shh. 
We're, we're just going to casually pretend that wasn't happening. <laughs> Let me exit Planet Zoo really quickly. And then get our Animal Crossing adventures up and going to wind down this amazing, amazing day. 100% of all donations tonight are going to the Giraffe Conservation Foundation. I am so freaking proud of all of you. Let me just grab something real quick. There we go. I am blown away. I am so freaking blown away. All right. There we are. There we are. Okay. And let me pull up my... There we go. There we are. All right. There. <laughs> oh, who is Paint? Paint is actually my alternate account for when I'm just playing with my family. Um, because Paint is the noise that the woodcock makes. Are you guys familiarized with the woodcock? The reason that I have Paint is because of the Paint of a woodcock. Let me find it. Yes, this is it. All right, prepare yourselves, friends. This is why my my family nickname when we play games, I have Siri and then sometimes I wanna keep my account separate. So I have this. Paint. 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 <laughs> I love the American woodcock. Oh, uh, they're just so freaking cute. I love them. Apparently, they're super easy to find everywhere, and I just have never had any luck with being able to discover them. Uh, but the American woodcock is a little bird that goes paint. And in case you guys have never seen one, you 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 have seen probably you have probably seen. There we go. And thank you guys so much for the hype train. Oh my heck. Just absolute treasure all around. But speaking of the, the paint paint bird. Oh! <laughs> Cat Queen, thank you so much for gifting us up to Manatees are epic in honor of that and talking about such amazing birds that we really enjoy. Uh, let me see if I can find, here we go. The American Woodcock Dance. And let's see if this is what I'm hoping it's for. There we go. This, friends, is what the American woodcock does to noodle doodle for worms. So they will move in this little dance. And you've probably seen a meme of it before. <gasps> oh, Lori! <laughs> dance. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Welcome to the nest, friends. <laughs> We're gonna have to go ahead and see what you guys look like in just a second. But they do this uh, so that normally they're not on ice. Normally they're going to be on the ground. And that little dance that they do is so that they can figure out if there's worms below them so that they're able to actually find the worms and eat the worms, which is ridiculously adorable. And all of you guys get to be American woodcocks today, which apparently are very common, and yet Chips and I could never find any in any of the forests that are around here. <laughs> I know, I, the paint dance. That's gonna be a new thing, little paint dance. <sighs> I love this. You guys are so fantastic. And also, by the way, <clears throat> Mangaroo, welcome back. And Sulair, Patches, Lynx, Forks Box, Eminem Plays, Nathan, Moshi, Zergat, May Moochie, Claire, and Waterbug Draws. Good to see you again, Waterbug Draws. Welcome to the nest, friends. Toby, thank you for the tea. You are all so fantastic. Paint is kind of like the new blip, blip, blip. blip. I love, I love Dixie. I, in, in fact, I need to go ahead and we can make a paint and a blip sound or like alert. I think that'd be really cute. <gasps> British Slammer, you're right. We need to go say happy Father's Day to Octavian. <laughs> oh, and Jeremac, that's so fantastic that Mama Sky is moving in with you. 
Now for today's announcements. We have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big wildberry welcome to Zucker, who we found on our search last night. Congrats, Zucker. I'm sure you'll enjoy island life here. Today we have a visitor sta- <gasps> What? There's a visitor at the campsite on International Giraffe Day? <laughs> okay, we're gonna need to go visit with them, guys. <laughs> we're absolutely gonna need to go visit with them. Paint! Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Every time I say paint, you think I'm saying paint. <laughs> and you're like, what? What do I need? And then, Laurie, I will show off that postcard real quick. Just a quick reminder in case you are not one of our patrons just yet. And we have showed it off quite a bit, Alari, just to let you know. Uh, we do have a very special exclusive Patreon Flying Squirrel postcard coming up this month. It's actually printed and it's on its way to my house now of a certain Julian and Meringue. And I like to show you guys just little snippets of it all over the place. Uh, the back is covered in poetry from Julian, by the way. And Kakaravan, so good to see you! <laughs> Thank you so much. But we do have an exclusive postcard that is on its way printed with an adorable sticker also printed and on its way from our sticker manufacturers uh, to celebrate. At this point, I almost want to say Pride Month for Julian as well, because I'm sure he is anything under the rainbow. Um, but that is on its way as well for our exclusive Patreon Flying Squirrel postcards. And Alari made that as well. Uh, all right, let me go ahead and, and add in Kokora Moon. Oh, heckin', so good to see you. Let me get in here. Ah, uh, I hope it's Poppy. If it's Poppy who has actually decided to grace us at the campsite, I am, I don't care who he bumps. I will buy their amiibo card and move them back in. I will move Poppy in if, if he arrived for International Draft Day. One, two, three. All right, one second, Kokora Moon and Oh, Kakara Moon! You had a long day working and you were worried you couldn't catch a stream? Oh, don't worry, we're right here! We're right here! I'm so glad that you're here with us. There we go. Oh, heckin'! <laughs> you guys! Oh, there we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, Gumdrop, if, if Poppy tries to bump Cranston, I'll probably just try to... T-Chef, the 18 was scouting me. <laughs> T-Chef, thank you. Oh my gosh. All right, by the way, guys, do you see what Mama Sky's wearing? Oh, and Waterbug, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to say that we're playing Animal Crossing for the next hour. Let me fix that. Oh, okay, give me just a second, friends. Okay, shh. Okay, there's that. And then I need to fix this. So let me edit the stream information. And now we're playing Animal Crossing. Heck it. There we go. Perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> and yes, science! Mama Sky is actually being. <gasps> Look at my tiny baby, little itty bitty, freaking cutesy wootsy little coconut palm trees. I love them. I rage planted coconuts last night and I didn't know it would fulfill my life so much, but it has fulfilled my life so freaking much. <laughs> this is, this is so perfect. This is so perfect. Okay. Uh, so that's fun. We're going to have to plant more coconut trees around. I think we're going to try to do like a whole summer overhaul for at least the residential section of the island. Uh, so expect that pretty soon. Like the cypress bush will probably go away. We might get, <gasps> we might buy a whole bunch of monstera and just like put monstera and ferns and summer themed things all over the place. Oh, Jeremac, you told your friend it was giraffe day. Spread the awareness, my friend. Spread the awareness. And then let's see, we've got down here. Oh, and paint, thank you, don't worry. Well, I will keep an eye on it. We've got usually like another half hour, but I, I definitely want to see who's come to visit us. <gasps> June! You guys, it's a June bug for June! Let's catch it. Got it. Should we give this to June? It's a stink bug, but come on, June bug for June. In June, no less. 
Great to see you, Siri. Gemstone? Oh, she picked up Julian's gemstone, saying. Sometimes nighttime can feel lonely, so I'm glad I ran into you. June, you're so freaking cute. Need something, Gemstone? Have you had a chance yet to stop by our new neighbor's home and meet them, Gemstone? I should probably finish frosting their home warming cake before I pop in. Oh, June, you're such a sweetheart. And then one second. Yeah, Agent Annie. Thank you very much, Beth. The charity, Beth just linked the charity with the command uh, exclamation point charity. Tea, thank you so much for the tea. <laughs> I love when you do tea time because it just tickles me. And then let's go ahead and give her the June bug. And little raccoon, it's good to see you. So the new villager is actually Zucker, who's moving in for summer festival time, which is so much fun. And Peachy, rest well. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm so sorry to hear that, but I'm so glad that we're able to bring a smile to your face. I hope you rest well and just have a great night. Also, June liked the stink bug, but not enough to give us a gift. So maybe, maybe that just didn't quite work. And Tom Kelly, thank you so much for carrying on your sub from Awkwarding Turtle. Heckin, I, I just, I heckin appreciate you, Tom. This flower, this flower's for you. I'm gonna wear it in my hair tonight. There we go. I love it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and let's go say hi to Zucker. Also, we have the gorgeous bee. Sky. So Sky is wearing the bee outfit that Science actually made, and I very much love it. I can't wait to have you guys over for a fashion party because you burst through the gold level goal that we had for saving giraffes. We are actually going to have a cutthroat fashionista face off where it's going to be like Iron Chef, but in a closet. It's not going to be your usual fashion show. We're going to have different sections on the island that will be broken up into different parts of a closet. So do you want your accessories? Do you want your pants? Do you want your full body outfits? Or do you want to go with your shirts? Like there's gonna be different sections for the closet on the island. And then we're going to have judges and you guys are going to actually pick the random trait that the judges are going to want. So I'll explain more about it, but it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be predictable. And it is not going to be based on the most popular look with the chat. Cause I feel like then people would feel shy, like, oh, chat doesn't like my outfit. So it's going to be completely random and it's going to be really fun. Uh, so we're going to have that in a little bit. <laughs> oh. Yes, science, I can't wait to see that. In fact, you know what, science, that's a good point. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go look at Zucker and then the camper. And we actually do have a great giraffe shirt from science that we can add in. <gasps> I love Zucker's house. And Beth Lewis, Luis, welcome, welcome to the adventures. Oh, cat queen, I would love if Mama Sky wore the shark outfit to support Bengal, our shark researcher. Guys, look at look at Zucker's cute house. It's so adorable. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'll want him to move away. I mean, he's Octavian's nephew. And if you're not here for the role play, I'm not sure why you're here, but I hope you're having a good time. And Kakara Moon, thank you. I hope you have a good rest after your long day of work, my friend. And look at Zucker, you guys. He's a Takoyaki. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I know, Crisis Wolf. I am so freaking proud of everyone, too. This is amazing. Hi, Zucker. Welcome. Welcome to the island, dude. Hey, Siri. Man, I took your advice and moved here as quick as I could. This is a real nice island. I bet my bug friends are going to like it. And I'll, be I'll bet I'll meet more bug friends here. I'm going to unfinish packing today. You know, get the bugs out of the bug jars and put my snack jars. <laughs> and get my snack jars put away. But starting tomorrow, let's play everyday bloop. Okay, he's so freaking precious. I love him. Oh, manatees, it's so good to see you. And yes, so we decided yesterday at our big island search for which new villager was going to move on to the island that we had to keep Zucker. He is one of only three octopi. There's only three octopus villagers. 
Marina, uh, Octavian, and Zucker. And Zucker is a takoyaki ball. I am now going to make it a life goal to figure out how to make vegan takoyaki. Takoyaki is normally octopus balls um, made out of octopus. But I'm going to see if I can find some sort of fun, funky, vegan way to veganize that. Uh, and then I will share the results with all of you. <laughs> so we'll have to see. Uh, but we are imagining that he has moved here to Wildberry to just enjoy summer. He actually runs a cute little summer stall that we'll see in here with like cotton candy and things like that. And also to hang out with his uncle, Octavian and try to escape his overbearing mom who wants him to get a real job. And Octavian, you know, he doesn't know what to think about his sister-in-law, but he'll, he, he thinks that, you know, his nephew Zucker, that boy needs some real motivation in him. Uh, so we'll have to see how they get along. Fluffy, hi! Oh, Fluffy, it all goes to, the, Louina and I raise money for the same charity, actually. So y'all are just helping giraffes either way. And it's amazing. It's amazing. And if you just carry the giraffe in your heart, that's all I could ask for. That beautiful ossicone shaped like hole in your heart that you didn't know you needed until I showed up with the ossicones ready. All right, let's go see who the camper is and say hi to Sheldon, our survival squirrel. Sheldon, hey, where are you? Hey, Rutabaga, you bringing it? I like to name my muscles. Like in my sick... What? <laughs> I don't remember seeing that before. <laughs> I like to name my muscles. Like in my six pack. I've got Abigail, Abdul, Ab, Abby, Abel, and Abner. My abs. <laughs> they all actually have ab names. That's amazing. Maybe if I named my ab muscles, I'd do more with them. <laughs> okay, Sheldon, you're amazing. Oh, really? Oh my gosh, Crisis Wolf, one of them is your name. You and Sheldon share a relationship, I suppose. Hey, Chloe Ballard, welcome, welcome to the adventures. Oh, did you get to hang out with your buddy Katie the other day, Splash? Wow, kayaking all the way from Hatful. Now that's a good friend. Oh my goodness. Katie, if you're hanging out, let me know. Uh, do I have anything to give Sheldon? <gasps> you guys, should we give Sheldon the caterpillar costume? He insulted me once when I was wearing the caterpillar costume. Should we give him the caterpillar costume so that he can become one with the forest and learn what the bugs feel? Cat Queen, you've got a name for your abs, Pudgy. <laughs> Alright, oh, it's a rainbow caterpillar for pride! That's even better than British lemur! Get over here, Sheldon! Where'd you go? He's hiding. He's in the trees. I don't have too many trees. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I found him! Alright, let's give it to him. Oh, Manatee, you want to see it on me first? Um... It's on, it's on Sheldon first, sorry. Whoa, that looks like a caterpillar costume. All right, I'm gonna look great flexing in this. <gasps> Thanks, this looks great. You really know my style, Splash. That's after he insulted, maybe, maybe Sheldon falls under the pride flag, hmm. Cause that's after he insulted my caterpillar costume. You're so generous. Sheldon, do you wanna tell me something about Puck maybe? All right, come here, come here. I wanna see you, I wanna see you. There he is. Stay put, boy. All right. It's Sheldon the Pride Caterpillar. He, oh, he's got little spots on his back and everything. <gasps> Maybe he will become a beautiful rainbow butterfly. There you go, Sheldon. He's, he's freaking cute. <gasps> oh my gosh, not on dad's day. Oh, I should tell you, Octavian's sick. I figured you'd want to know. You guys, a pride pillar. I love that, Kay. Octavian is sick on dad's day. The grandpa of the island is sick on dad's day. This is, this is unacceptable. This is, this is a heckin' no. All right, we're gonna see the villager, but we gotta heal up Octavian first. That's serious business. Puns fully intended. All right, where, where are we going here? Do you think he's faking? Do you think Octavian's just pretending to be sick because he doesn't wanna go see his nephew? 
<laughs> Do you think he locked himself inside his house? And he's like, I can't hear you, boy. You're not here. <laughs> PG rest well. Because I actually could see him pretending to be sick so that he could lock himself in the house and be like, I hear nothing. My nephew is not here. My lazy nephew who just wants to like do nothing but eat festival food and takoyaki is not here. Hey, Dean. Welcome. Welcome. <gasps> let's buy you guys. Let's buy these for Octavian. What do you guys think? A nice set of golf clubs for the dad, the granddad, old man Octavian of the island. I, I think that this would be pretty good. Pretty good. I'm going to get him the medicine. Yeah, we need, you know what? Octavian's the dad of the island, so we should definitely get him something. Um, let's go ahead and get him a Father's Day gift other than the medicine. So which gift for old man Balloonhead? Hey, Narnia, welcome, welcome to the adventure. Uh, golf clubs, uh, surfboard, why not? Uh, let's see. And hey, Dean, welcome to the adventures. Or some old thing in the attic. <laughs> some old uh, thing in the at, uh, so, some old thing in attic. There we go. And while I buy the medicine, you guys vote on what we should give Old Man Balloonhead for his Father's Day gift. <laughs> and if you guys are just joining us, we are raising money for giraffes and saving giraffes today. We've already broken a thousand dollars. But if you would like to join on in for the perks and to help out even more with the Giraffe Conservation Foundation, then all you need to do is go ahead and uh, use some of the cool little, like, um, exclamation point commands that we've popped up. Don't mind me, my brain has been blasted from the amazingness of everybody. So I'm just kind of rambling. What would golfing be like on the moon? <gasps> Thunder, I love that idea. All right, let me have some more water. Chips has turned the AC so low so I don't get too overheated in the onesie and I love him so much for it. All right. All right, the vote's coming in. Golf clubs it is. 87% of you believe that old man Balloonhead's gonna appreciate himself some 5,400 bell golf clubs. If this doesn't get our portrait from him, I don't know what will. That's fine, that's fine. Also, I don't think I have this lamp yet, so can I, can I afford, can I afford this? A cute paper lantern? Yes, I can. <laughs> if you golf on the moon, you're never going to get that ball back, librarian. <laughs> can you imagine? I've heard now that like, um, now that we have sent up. I'm so tired. I blinked on the name. Now that we have sent up Elon Musk's little go fetch him like dragon, uh, dragon rocket to go deliver people commercially, there's more talk about going back to the moon for commercial people. So I imagine that at some point in our lifetime, people will go to the moon for a jaunt for like a, I'm really super rich and own half the world and you should probably tax me more and hashtag eat the rich, but I still have all this money jaunt. And I can see people flying to the moon to play golf. And I can see some really enterprising startup company already going, how can we make satellite retrieving drones that can fetch the golf balls back? Cause I could see people wanting to invest in a business where you could golf on the moon and it could track how far it got after a certain amount of time, ping that, and then your friend would come up like next year and also golf and you guys could have this slow moving competition to see how far you could hit the golf balls. <laughs> I think some sort of startup is going to like start working on that right now. Golf ball on a string, million dollar invention. <laughs> the million dollar golf ball on a string. <laughs> that would be amazing. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go. Let's go take care of Octavian. The new type of sand trap, space trap. <laughs> Chips likes golfing. I'll have to ask him uh, if he'd golf on the moon. Science, it sounds like something your grandpa would do. Oh my gosh. Yeah, P-Line, I would worry about polluting the moon too. Old man Octavian. Oh, are you sick again? I think that the last time 
somebody was sick. It was Octavian too. So you know what? Do I have the distressed emoji? Hang on. I've gotta be I've gotta be properly outfitted for this, and I need to I need to let him know I'm distressed in his sake. Let's see, where's distressed? There we go. And there we are. Let's come on over. Let's stand by the old man. He's sick. Oh, he's so sick! He's got his little aliens. Oh, old man, hang in there. Oh, he's shaking. Ah, no, 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 not the joy emote. That's not what I wanted. Oh, look at his little face, you guys. Did you see that? I know, little bug guy. I am so blown away too. All right, let's go ahead and heal him. I can't, I can't take another moment of him coughing. Cough, cough, ack. Is this the end for poor old Octavian? Who? Who is that? Who's here? I can't even make out your face. Everything's getting blurry. Here's medicine, Octavian. Whoa, you brought me medicine? Thanks so much, kiddo. All right, here you go, friend. <laughs> Old man Balloonhead, don't you dare die on us. Medicine never tastes good, but all that really matters is that it works. I really appreciate you bringing me medicine, kiddo. I want you to have a printed layered shirt. Wait, thank you, Octavian. We'll check out what that looks like in a minute. Splash, there may have, that might have been too generous even for me. <laughs> we just gave you medicine. <gasps> oh my gosh, Octavian. <laughs> like, I think he gets a little cranky sometimes when he's sick. He gets dramatic and he gets cranky. Thanks for the medicine, kiddo. Glad I can always count on you. I think, yes, I'm sure, Octavian. All right, let's go ahead and we are going to check out what that shirt was. And then we're going to give him the golf balls for Father's Day. Because he's old man balloon head. All right, let's go ahead and put this down. What does this look like? What do we think? I can't see anything. Luckily, I have prepared for that. Give me just a second. Golf bag, paper lantern. There's no room for the paper lantern. Never mind. All right, can I zoom in on this? Vita? Vita something. Huh. Thank you, Octavian. All right, let's go in and give him the golf clubs. Oh, hey, Fee! We have Pokemon uh, Sword going up three times a week right now on the channel. And we'll probably do some streams of it at some point in the near future. <gasps> Old Man Balloon Head! You're protecting your balloon head! I'm so glad to see that. Wait, manatees. Are you sure? Someone, someone has golfed on the moon before? Oh my gosh. Has someone really golfed on the moon before? And Wolf God, thank you for the tea time. Just had that sip of water in your honor. Heh. <laughs> You're welcome to poke around all you like, but you won't find much of interest, I'd wager. Aw, don't say that, Octavian. You're all summery in your hibiscus moo moo. Let's try to beat this dad burned heat. Here, this will cheer him up. All right, let's see if this gets us his portrait, you guys. It's a really expensive item, so there should be a 10% chance that we'll get his portrait from this. What in the? A golf bag? I owe you one. Been looking for something like this for a while. Next time I spiff up my place, it'll come in handy. Oh! Karata? Huh. What's that? Thank you very much, Octavian. Should we badger him until we can try to, uh, we can try to get his quest for the day? I think we should see if we can badger him enough for a quest after we see the camper. And let's also see what the heck this is. All right. It's green! Oh, it's cute! Oh my goodness, this looks like nice and casual. It's something nice to keep the summer heat off. Thank you, old man Octavian. It is green. I like it, I like it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put that away. And then we're gonna go check out the camper, see if we wanna move them in or not see who they would like to try to move out. And then we'll badger Octavian the rest of the night and see if he will go ahead and give us a quest to try to get his uh, portrait. And then Nature Claw, it turns out Alan Shepard, the first man to travel into space, snuck a golf club and golf balls on the rocket with him when he made it to the moon. 
I wonder if you could sneak something on the moon. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. All right, let me have a little sip of my sparkling water real quick. You sparkling fantastic people. Can't freaking believe we blew that gold of smithereens like we did. And we're gonna go about another 15 minutes for tonight. Oh, sir, back yet? I'm so glad. We're gonna go ahead and see who is here. Oh, Beth, sleep well, sleep. Mm -hmm. Sleep well, Beth. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful night, Beth. Thank you so much. Oh, Rin, you would like to leave a, a little tiny stuffed animal on the moon as an excuse to say, yes, there's something living on the moon. That is so freaking cute. <laughs> And Vanna! So first American, not first ever, but he was the one who went golfing. Oh my gosh, the first American to golf on the moon. Alan Shepard. I will remember that name. I actually remember the name Alan Shepard really easily because I think that Shepard in Stargate, which is one of my all-time favorite series ever for sci-fi, because my dad and I watched so much of it together. I love you, Daddy. Thinking about you on Father's Day. Um, but Alan Shepard, uh, like Shepard, is the last name of one of the main characters. Also, Amiibo number 138. Thank you, British Lemur. Is this Alfonso? What's what's this person? 138. It's Sly. Okay, I have his Amiibo. So I think we're good here. Uh, but let's just say hello and see what he wants to say. Hi, Lapuri. Welcome. Welcome to the adventures. They call me Mega Arm Sly. Or the Mega Arm thing is actually what I call me. But I really am all about Arm Day. Hoorah! His, his saying is hoorah? That feels appropriate to be. Oh, Peachy Pies! Peachy Pies too. Welcome, welcome to the nest. Oh, thank you so much. Welcome tonight, my friend. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, and Sly, his thing is hoorah. And we were just talking about General Shepard from Sly, like, Stargate, so that feels perfect. I love Stargate. Did any of you guys watch Stargate too? And he almost does look like a giraffe print gator. You are totally right, Ren. Not everyone's cool with staying in a tent, but I don't mind. Hoorah! <laughs> Maddie, Mari, welcome, welcome to the adventures. This guy is actually cracking me up and making me think about my dad so much because one of the big entire themes of my whole life growing up, you guys, was my dad waking us up and dropping us off at school. He would drive us and drop us off to school every morning. And his big thing that he would say would be, work hard, play hard, love hard, hoorah. Like that was his motto. He just made it up himself. And so every morning when we would go to school, like you'd get out of the car and he'd yell after you so that everybody could hear because he loved making it as loud as he could because he was like really like, yeah. Um, but he would be like, work hard, play hard, love hard, hoorah at the top of his voice. <laughs> and he wasn't a military guy. He was a freaking like engineer for a pipeline company most of his life. <laughs> Uh, and so when I see this hoorah, it makes me think of my dad. <laughs> Maybe Sly is another dad. I like that idea. All right, Sly. Ever gone somewhere and the air just tastes better? I hope nobody minds my breathing up all the air. It's just so delicious. Hoorah! That's how my dad says it. Do you want to trade me anything, Sly? Have you ever tried basketball on the beach here? Hoorah! It's like the perfect training ground for it. If I live here, I'll be a basketball star in no time. It's just a beach, friend. Sorry, I don't I don't want to move him in tonight because we, we end up, like, we have his amiibo card. Okay, so, and I don't think he's going to trade us, but it was really nice to meet Sly. Work hard, play hard, love hard. Yeah, hoorah! That's very potent for Father's Day. So I like seeing him, but we have his amiibo and we just freaking moved in Zucker. Uh, and so what does his house look like? I'm gonna check that out real quick, because I'm curious. All right, Sly. <gasps> You're right, I love his house. If he moved in, it would be for survival training. It would be 100% for survival training. Let me show you guys what his house looks like really fast. That's hilarious. 
Let's see. Where did I put it? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Fluffy! Oh, Fluffy! <laughs> Welcome to the tower, Fluffy. Oh my gosh. The exclusive pin set will be yours, as well as many other perks. Thank you so much for your donation to top off our amazing night of raising money for the giraffes. Oh my word. Let me go ahead and put this down really quickly. Fluffy, welcome. I snuck you in. I'm gonna cover all of this with like so many stickers of leaves. You guys have no idea how excited I am to use the stickers again. Uh, but, oh my goodness. Okay, I, I lost his picture. Thank you, Annie. I'm gonna have a little more water. And I have lost his picture. Was it over here? Hmm. Was it over here? Hmm. Here it is. Okay, here, so here is Sly's house. So one day we may indeed invite him over uh, for survival training. But ta-da! And Fluffy, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my obstacles are so happy. Uh, that's Sly's house. So I would indeed love to add Sly in sometime. He seems like the kind of guy that I could get along with. And he seems like the kind of guy that Sheldon would get along with for survival training. I like the dinosaur in the top right corner too. That's really funny. <laughs> but all right, guys, let's go see if old man Octavian will pony up a quest for Father's Day. Let's turn this bonfire on for Sheldon because it's nighttime. And let's go ahead and say hello to old man Balloonhead again. Oh, <laughs> Jeremac, I know, right? We have shared so many amazing em like emotes tonight. Oh yeah, Antlered Fox production. So we will be holding more of the donations and the perks and everything later this week too. Uh, and we'll, oh, look at that. And we'll be doing more for the charity or just more in general. Uh, Cause I know a lot of people needed to wait till the end of the month for like payday. So we'll have more days for the charity and I might keep the perks going for the end of the month just in case people are like not able to make it for the, the next few nights. Cause I want everybody to have a chance. It's a very special occasion to raise funds for the drafts. And then let's come and talk to Octavian. Been a while since I have seen that Kalia around here. I wonder what's kept him so busy back on Rudiden. Octavian talks a lot about you guys when you come to visit. All right, come on, Octavian. Come on, hand over that quest. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do one more chat. What can I do for you? Reckon you're a real gardening enthusiast, Butterbean. Hardy did a whole bunch of planting around here. My rage planting of coconuts. All right, come on, Octavian. Give me that quest. As of today, we got ourselves a new resident on Wildberry. <gasps> He's talking about his nephew! All I want to know is who's hosting the welcoming party, because I want in, Splash. That's so cute! And I do not have the poppy amiibo, Leah, unfortunately. All right, come on, old man Balloonhead. All right, now that we're in private, we can talk about anything we want. What? So, uh, what's up? <laughs> Lost Sparks, welcome, welcome to the adventures. I wonder, so Butterbean, did you hear? Nope, not from the Happy Home Academy. We're good. Come on, quest, quest, quest. I think we only can talk to him a couple more times. Quick question, Butterbean. You, uh, did you tell me you were great at bird watching, right? That's still your thing. Hey, Warped Ghost. Ain't it? That's totally still my thing. I love bird watching. That's good to hear, because I've been telling folks you are a local expert at bird watching. <gasps> Thank you, Octavian. I may not be an expert, but I sure have passion. <laughs> and then let's see. I hate to think I'd be leading anyone astray, Splash. All right. Oh, you again. Need something, Splash? All right, I'm only gonna give it a couple more times. You know what help keeps the blood pressure low and the spirits high? Gardening. That's right, kiddo. I wouldn't be so pleasant and easy going if it weren't for these green thumbs. <laughs> Do you think he has eight of them? Like eight green thumbs? Now let me tell you everything I know about bonsai trees. <gasps> we should have a bonsai area. When it becomes time to have a bonsai table, and when we need to have like a cute little bonsai thing going on, we need to have it next to Octavian's house and he could teach us how to cut bonsai trees. 
I love that idea. He has so many arms. He's probably great at it. <laughs> Ren, should we tell him he doesn't have thumbs? <laughs> See, you gotta make sure you're planting your bonsai in a big enough container. It needs room to grow. Right now, I'm trying to grow the world's largest bonsai myself. It's like a world's hottest ice cube kind of thing, but it keeps me busy, Splash. That's adorable. We're gonna have to set up a bonsai garden on the island for Octavian. I think I think that that absolutely needs to happen. Hey there, Butterbean. Ain't I looking sharp in my gold print tee? Takes guts and swagger to pull off a bold look like this. That's what my dad used to say when he would wear pink shirts to his engineering job. All right, I think we've talked to Octavian as much as we can tonight without making him mad. So in his honor, instead, I'm gonna go grab the bonsai tree. And, or I think I have a bonsai tree like table that someone either gave me or gave me the DIY for. So I'm gonna see if we have the bonsai tree and then put it over by our bamboo garden if we do. Oh, Fluffy! Thank you so much. I am so glad you were able to donate to help the drafts too. We have just a few more minutes of our stream actually guys. I am so worn out with joy and with happiness. Is there anything you guys think would be really fun to do to wind down such an amazing draft day of awesomeness? Uh, of, of our community coming together to truly change the world. Can you guys think of anything while I see if I have a bonsai tree? I think somebody sent me a bonsai tree table. But I'm not 100% sure. And if not, we'll just... I have the bonsai tree DIY, so we'll just wait until we can get bonsai trees going. Yeah, I don't think I have the bonsai tree table now. But I have a lot of other amazing things we can put out. There we go. Karaoke KK songs? <laughs> that would be really hard and really cute. You guys are lucky. One of the perks I wanted to do was like the Baby Shark KK song and Chips was like, um, maybe there are copyright issues. <laughs> yeah, some fish. Let's go catch some fish to wind down. Fluffy, good night. Good night. Thank you so much. Wow. So yeah, if you guys donated tonight, thank you. And if you, you weren't able to, please, I totally understand. Cat! <laughs> Cat, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're able to calm down. Let me come on in. Oh my gosh. And let me add your bitty treasures in. There we go. I'm so grateful. There we go. Added your bitty treasures in properly. You guys, this was amazing. Let's go do some fishing to wind down. We might have to do some litter bug work and a the last of our big mail day tomorrow to wind down as well. Uh, oh, yay, some more sand dollars. Let's see if we can find any shracks. Maybe we'll get a barrel eye. And then tomorrow we will carry on. And we will see, oh, a knife, a knife. There we go, yeah, bar barred knife jaw, there we go. Tomorrow we will carry on with more of our adventures. I will have to assess and see what we can do for the giraffes as well. This has been heckin' amazing. Oh, and thank you, Antlered Fox Production. You rest well. Let's catch a couple fish. Had to close my eyes to really get that vibe. Sea bass. Oh, Timmy! Timmy and Tommy. Oh my gosh, that is an adorable username. I freaking love that. That is so cute. That is so cute. <laughs> so let's see if we can find a shark I really want to see if we can finish on a shark but I'm so snoozy now I worry I'll let a shark slip through our fingers but we will come up with some more fun things to do together you guys have really stood up on international draft day for the drafts more than I ever dreamed we could and I I just I appreciate all of you so freaking much our community really can do great things together Come on, Barrel Eye. <gasps> Little clownfish! You're kind of giraffe patterned. I like you. I'm gonna swap things. All right, let's go ahead and drop this seashell for now. And then, okay, nothing there. All right, I'm gonna do one last trek along the beach. And then I completely agree. 
I hope you guys are ready. I hope you still have the Ossicone energy within you because we are not going to end this night without saying hello to our wonderful Luina, my, my sister in all things giraffe related, who also has like a hibiscus tattoo. And here we are with all of our hibiscus things as well. Uh, let me come down here and see what's going on. What do we have? Boop, 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 boop. All right, last fish, not a shark. Also not the right direction to face Siri. And then after we do this, the giraffe onesies unite. <laughs> after we catch or fail to catch this one, we will go ahead and we will send a raid out to Luina's way. Wait. Yay! It's not the pits! It's not the pits! Alright, let's go ahead and swap things. I had to be really quiet so we could focus on trying to catch this guy. But alright, so tomorrow we will be doing our Mail Monday and a Litterbug event here in, um, here on Wildberry Island. And I'm going to be catching my breath and figuring out where to take our giraffe challenge from here. Because you blasted our goal to pieces and smithereens. I am blown away. Uh, and we will definitely figure out where we're gonna where we're gonna go from from here. Like I keep saying over and over again, because I am just so grateful and so tired. <laughs> so alright guys, let's send off a Luina raid in just a second. Let me get it all prepped. And thank you all from the bottom of my heart. We will be adopting a giraffe probably at the end of the week. We'll have to see. We will be uh, picking which giraffe, or at this point, several giraffes that we will actually be able to put together. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, Annie. <laughs> Annie, thank you so much for feeding the cow plants. Oh, you all, let's send the giraffes off to Luina. We'll carry on with more adventures and figure out what the heck we're doing tomorrow as well. I love you guys so much. Thank you for helping to change the world. And I and my Ossicones will see you all tomorrow. <laughs>